Hi! Welcome to tonight's stream. I am just finishing putting my nails on because I decided to redo them and I thought I had ample time. I thought like 20 minutes. I always forget that it takes way longer because, well, I wanted to put my nails in a super, like, well thought out pattern. And, you know, I figured it out, but <laughs> it took so long. Give me just a moment to get these last two nails on. Then I just gotta clean up all of the extra nails that are <laughs> currently covering this end of my desk. And then we can get started. Let's see, I have a couple things I needed to still update on the board. I got some more, let's see, darkness, a blaze, and rebel clash. So I need to add a couple of those each on the board. So my live chat is having issues, so I'm gonna refresh. Alright, there we go. I don't know why it's been having issues showing the live chat lately, but it's back. Cool, cool. Now I can see what y'all are saying. And put on my last nail, and then I can show them off. They're kind of longer than I want them to be, but I'll fix that later. <laughs> I almost wore one of my wigs tonight, but then I was just like, you know, I'm gonna take a break tonight from wearing a wig. <laughs> I'm gonna just let it be. Because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it also takes a while to get my hair ready and put into a wig. So if I decided to do that and nails, um, I would have been like a half hour late for the stream. <laughs> Which would have been a problem. We do not want to be 30 minutes late. That would be kind of awkward. At least in my opinion. <laughs> I'm working on getting some more stuff. I really need to restock Sun and Moon. Especially. Any X and Y I can find is always good too. And, oh, I forgot. I also got a little bit more shiny Fates. That I will put on the board. Because I'm sure y'all will be interested in that. Alright, let me see. No oh, clash. How many do I have now? I have four. Or wait. Five. There we go. Now let me see. Darkness. Also, actually four. If I can spell darkness ablaze. There we go. And... Not 88. I'm not charging 88. <laughs> I'm shining fates. How many of those do I have? We got six packs of shining fates. Why is it not centered? I hate it when it doesn't center! It's throwing me off now. I'm not liking it. Oh, this this just entire row. Is just awful. Let's fix this. Gotta be money. Gotta make it all the right size font. Oh, so much better. So much better. Alright, now let me check orders. And I'll show off my nails. They're multicolored, but they're kind of like calm, laid back colors. But yes, I put I put a lot of work into the the pattern of them. It's uh yes. The pattern is mirrored between the two. Um it's so basically the simply the pinky and pointer finger are purple on this side, black on this side. And then between the other two colors we got the lighter one for the ring finger and the darker one for the middle finger. And then thumbs are whatever the middle finger is. So yeah, those are my current nails. I kind of like them. I wanted some, some something a little bit darker, but like not too extreme. So yeah, I got these today. And now there are fake nails all over the place. <laughs> Uh, 
I, I enjoy my, my Zellolutions. Of course, uh, natural is most comfortable. I, it's really fun to mix it up from time to time. And from time to time, I mean like a couple times a week. <laughs> as many uh, times as I feel like it a week. I opened some more Magic the Gathering today, which was pretty groovy. And I went to one of the stores I shop at and told the one guy there that always tells me that Yu-Gi-Oh is terrible and Magic is better that I was getting into Magic and he was very happy to hear that. And he opened a couple fancy packs and just took the cards he wanted and was like, do you want the rest? And I'm like, um, heck yes. They're like packs where almost all the cards in them were hull. And I was just like, yes, I would very much like that. Then I opened some stuff with my siblings too, cause my, uh, my little brother plays it and my little sister wants to learn how to play, but she doesn't have enough cards to build a deck. I'm like, well, if it was Pokemon, I could just build a deck for you and give it to you. But since it's magic, um, no, that I, I can't help as much. But yeah, I gave them both a pack and was like, okay, let's open these. And they seemed to quite enjoy it. I enjoyed it too. It was, it was good times. I also finally got my school schedule figured out. So now I know how school is going to be. It was, um, surprisingly difficult, but I survived getting it figured out. And now I'm all enrolled in both online and in person. So woo, fun times. <laughs> all right, looks like we got our first order for two packs of Shining Fates for Chase. Let's bring that to four. Let me just clean up. I've just got a bunch of cards on my desk. A lot of these are things that I'm, like, considering putting in decks, and some of them are just completely random junk. Like, these two Sandacondas, they don't even have sleeves. They are just here because they are. I've gotten a bad habit of, like, not sleeving up all my regular hollow foils. Because, like, I just have so many of them. It, they, they, they use so many sleeves. And, I don't know, eventually I might put them in sleeves. But as for right now, they are not, um... Sleeved. Ooh, I got this nice Empoleon V full art. Also got a regular Empoleon here. And now I really want to make an Empoleon deck because I actually have two of these. These are uh, the full arts, so I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh, I also bought some cool cards. I'll have to show y'all when I have a second. First off, we've got Shining Fates. Ta da! I feel like my nails match the Shining Fates pretty well. <laughs> I go pro and stream from school. I'm sure that wouldn't get me kicked out. Never ever. <laughs> I know, I, I doubt they'd appreciate that. I mean, I could stream myself doing online school, but uh, in-person school, I don't think I could get away with that. All right, we're starting off with the darkness energy. We have Rusted Shield. There's a little Rotom, Floatzel, Gossipler, Sanom, Trapinch, Nicket, Boozle. Oh, all right, we got a double V shiny and a Cinderace V to finish off. So a double hitter for the first pack. And I actually need to open a bag of sleeves. Let's see. Got more clear sleeves. I'm gonna order a ton more clear sleeves because even though I have some uh like Eevee sleeves, I just like the clear ones like so much better. Especially since I've started opening magic, and some magic cards are double-sided. So it's like, well, um, if I want to sleeve them, I should probably have clear sleeves. Plus, Eevee sleeves are, like, matte, which is weird. Alright, let's see. This pack is stronger than my nail. It just about came off. I put it on 10 minutes ago, and it is it is already failing. Alright, let's see, there's four to the front. Starting off with a Grass Energy, there's a Cramorant, Team Yellow Towel, the Wacky, Yanma, Morpeko, Eevee, Gossifleur, Yanma, the Wacky Baby Shiny, and to finish off a Boss's Orders. That was pretty solid. 
a V and a baby shiny, and then a regular V. Let's see, where is the top of this leaf? I found it. It took a second, but I found it. So there are all of those for you, Chase. I'll get them added into your stick. I would recommend shipping your stack uh, probably within the next couple days. It's fairly big, but not like too overflowing. All right, looks like we've got two more orders right now. We have an Eevee Heroes for Kirby, and then a $50 mystery pack, and two Sun and Moon for Venmo Guy, and any Sword and Shield. Um, I had a pack, and then I opened it. <laughs> so at one point, um, yes, but as of, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, I no longer have said pack. I can check if I've got another that was just hiding, but that I'm aware of right this moment? No. Alright, alright. Time for Eevee Heroes. Let me update that on the board. I'm always forgetting where the Japanese is, and then I'm like, there's literally this whole huge section for it. Then we'll update that. And Sun and Moon, where is it? Is 14, now it's 12. All right, all right. Starting with the Eevees. Oh, and I opened an Eevee Hero pack off camera too, so actually it's 11. Let's get this open. Let's get something spicy, whoosh. All right, starting off with a Pinzer. We have Phoebus, Eevee, Voltor, and an Aroma Lady. Sadly, nothing exciting from that pack. That's the same thing that happened when I opened mine. I was like, well, I guess at least I got a bad one out of the way. I was hoping to get something to trade with my friend who I'm going to trade a bunch of stuff with soon. But I didn't. But it was okay because I found my extra uh, Eevee. Lucian V cards, so it's fine. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. I can trade these. All right, now time for the spicy $50 pack and a couple Sun and Moon base. There we go. Let's start with these and then move on to the mystery pack. Let's grab that code card. Whoosh. I'm so close to the trash can. So painfully close. But just not quite. Alright, we're starting off with a psychic energy. We have a Lima. There's a Spinda, Araquanid, Fomantis, Surskit, Growlithe, We've got Kruberaller, Marini, Crocodile Reverse, and a Tusserina Hollow Foil. Not too bad. Let me get that in a sleeve. These sleeves are so difficult to open. They just must be too fresh and new. I mean, soon I will have a sword. On my 18th birthday, my plan is to go to the store and buy myself a sword. Because once I'm 18, I can go and buy it without an adult there because I am an adult! So yeah, that's, that's my plan for my birthday. All right, we're starting off with uh, energy, energy retrieval, Cursula, Trumbeak, Stuffle, Marini, Dupider, Bouncy, Lillipup, Lit in Reverse, and another Tessarina. What are the chances? Two, two Tessarinas in a row. It's kind of funny, not gonna lie. All right, and now for the spicy $50 mystery pack. Go ahead and see what we can do for you. We're starting off with a reverse meow stick. And for our sleeved cards, starting with a surprise wheel spin. Oh, surprise! Mr. Crowbat, um, was trying to run away so that we could see Dark Flareon. And to finish off, we have a first edition base set Machamp. It's got a teeny bit of whitening on a couple of the edges. But it is an 
no wise bad condition. It's pretty solid. So I'm gonna get that in a top loader now. See, my top loader is still under my desk. Top loaders! So yeah, I'd uh, say that one's pretty spicy. No, I'm not usually a fan of my champ, but the base set one just vibes, because I don't know. I don't even know, but I love it. Let me get those all scooped up for you. And we'll get them into your stack. Let's see. There it is. Now, give me just a second to get the Wheel of Prizes pulled up. I knew I was forgetting to open a tab earlier. Turns out it was the Wheel of Prizes tab. But we shall fix that momentarily. Let me see. Alright. I think we can... That's the wrong thing. I'm like, what is this tab here? There we go. This is the right thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and shuffle, 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 and we'll see what your prize is going to be. Alright, alright, it looks like it is going to be a score bunny battle figure. Let me do that. Let me do that. Here's a cute little score bunny. Oh, I gotta switch. I always forget to switch back. There is your score bunny. How cute. And he somehow balances like on one foot. I find it incredibly impressive. But yeah, I will get that added with your stuff. I think we have another battle figure somewhere for you. Yeah, this is your second one. Now you have two of the Galar starters Grookey and Score Bunny. Now you just gotta get the Sobble and you'll have all three. That's epic. All right, and let me just All right, all right. Now let me refresh orders. All right, the last pharaoh servant for Kirby. Sounds good. I really need to restock on Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know, I've mostly just been seeing Lightning Overdrive and occasional King's Court. I'm like, hmm, I don't know if we really want more of those, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's grab that. And we'll start off with a Girochin. Okay, we got an Earth Shaker, Souls of the Forgotten, World Suppression, Shift, Fancy. We got a Drill Bug, how nice. Ground Collapse, Major Rot, Deep Sea Warrior to finish it off. And I'm assuming you want all of the cards, correct? Since you usually do. There's the one with the shiny name, and the rest of those. So I will get them added to your stack. Let's see. Is that it? Yes, it is your stack. Alright, perfect. Now I will refresh again and we'll see if we've got anything else. Dawn of Majesty. Oh my goodness. I actually think I was uh, considering buying a pack of that today. Let me see if that's what it was. Oh wait, my phone is on 1%. Let me find a cord first. Like legit, I think that's what it was that I was looking at. I was like, oh, maybe I should get that one. Or do you mean Majestic Dawn? Cause that's what I can find a listing for, Diamond and Pearl. Majestic Dawn Factory Sealed Booster Pack. Yes. So Majestic Dawn, I... C 
could get some of that. I don't know exactly the price yet. But it is within my realm of capabilities. Have you already opened Magic the Gathering Horizons 2? Um, no, I don't think I have yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I think... I was gonna save those packs to open, but I might just open one on stream later, tonight. We'll see what I decide. I'm gonna take a quick second to hydrate. I got my yummy soda. It's very tasty. Dawn of Majesty is the new Yu Yu. Oh my goodness, that is so disorienting. Why do they have like the backwards, almost same name? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I haven't seen the new Yu-Gi-Oh set yet. But once I do, I'll make sure to grab what I can. I think one of the stores that I go to a lot will probably have it around when it comes out. But I don't know if it's no. You know what's cool about the one store that I usually get my Yu-Gi-Oh boxes from is I was actually there tonight talking to one of the guys that I talked to a lot when I worked there and he like knows that I have a channel and so he was telling me he's like uh I guess he was talking to the owner of like I think the f franchise I mean there's a couple stores so I'm guessing he's the owner of both of them or the co-owner that is and he uh, he told me that he had mentioned me to the owner guy. The owner guy's like, hmm, if she, like, gets bigger, I'd be interested in, like, sponsoring her. And I was just, and when he told me that, I was just like, oh my goodness, that would be so cool. Like, I don't know if it'll actually end up happening, but just the fact that, you know, it's a possibility is really cool. Alright, looks like we have two Japanese Detective Pikachu for chips. So let's go around those. Such cute packs. I just love them. Alrighty, we're starting off with a Mr. Mai. Magikarp! There's an Arcanine and a Ludiculo to finish off the pack. Let's hope this next one's got something a little spicier in it. Starting off with a Lickitung. Psyduck, Charmander, hey! and we got a Mewtwo GX, one of the like three ultra rares in the set, so pretty solid. So there are all of those for you. Some very nice cards, I'd say. I'll get them added into your stack. There we go. Alright, and let's refresh once again. Ooh, all right, the rest of these shining fates is poof, gone away, disappeared. Got the last four packs for Venmo guy. This set is just too hot. It will not stay in stock. I was like, I wonder how long this will last. I thought it would have at least lasted maybe 45 minutes. It lasted 25. I can't really blame y'all though. It's such a phenomenal set. I opened so much of it when it first came out. Alright, we're starting off with the lightning energy. We have the wacky, he who must not be named, Cufant, Gossifleur, Tropius, Snom, Smogon, Cacnea, Decidueye Reverse, and a Manaphy. So nothing too spicy in the first one, but we've got three to go. Hopefully the rest will deliver a little bit better. Let's see. We've got four to the front, starting off with a fighting energy. We have a Thwacky, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Morpeko, Cacnea, Horsey, Qfant, Tootle. Kyogre Amazing Rare there. 
Just a cell of you to finish off the pack. Let me get that fancy Kyogre. Blue sleeve. Beautiful. Alright, let's go. Snip. Let's see. Four to the front. Starting off with a fire energy. We have Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Sanam, Morpeko, Cacnea, there's a Tootle, Spinarak, Trapinch Reverse, and an Indeedee Hollow with that Disco Hollow Bleed. Gotta love the Disco Hollow Bleed. Alright, let's get a shiny in this last pack. Because I would just like to see a shiny, and so I feel like that's a good idea. Let's pack magic. Give us something spicy. Oops, there's that. Whoosh. Alright, we got four to the front. Starting off with a psychic energy. We've got Rotom, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Morpeko, Nicket. There's an Eevee, Gossifleur, Toodle, Rusted Sword Reverse, and a Dreadnought. So sadly, no shinies in there. But we did get that beautiful, amazing rare. So there are all of those. I'll get them added into your stack. Let's see. Alright, got it. Now we shall refresh orders again, and I'll clean up the bulk on my desk. Looks like I'm actually going to need a new bulk box. The one I have is already overflowing. It's just like this pile with like an extra, this like box with an extra pile just like sitting on top of it. Alright, new box acquired. Now to put this bulk into it. I know it's kind of funny, but I just, it's kind of fun just having so much bulk. I mean, if there's literally any card, like, common or uncommon card from these sets, like, I could just, like, it would take a long time to find it, but I could find, like, a bunch of it. Hey, welcome, Karma. Nice to have you join. Just hanging out in between packs right now. Alright, it looks like we have our next order for two more Japanese Detective Pikachu for Chase. I'm going for that Charizard. I respect and encourage that. <laughs> Let's get Mr. Zard, because we like to pull Mr. Zard. Generally a good time. Alright, we're starting off with a Jigglypuff, Bulbasaur, Mr. Mine, oh, and his Detective Pikachu. So cute. Let me stick that in a sleeve. I love that one. I always get excited when I pull it. Well, out of Pokemon cards. I would feel bad though, because then I would be like defacing the cards. So I guess like debacking them, since they would probably be the backs that were stuck. Alright, we got a Snubble, Psyduck, Slacking, and a Ditto! Adorable Ditto. Alright, there are all of those for you, Chase. Sorry, no Charizard in these ones. Are those two stack though? I'm gonna take a little sip. It, stuff is literally so yummy. Every time, I always enjoy it. Yes, Pikachu! You know this Pikachu over here from Cosmic just chilling. I love this one. So cute. I mean, most Pikachus I like. But, you know, that one is in the uh, higher tier of Pikachu cards, I guess. Yeah. I feel like, you know, it works. Alright, it looks like we're having a quick break in between orders. So I've got some new cards that I wanted to show y'all. Let me see. Oh, I put them in my box, didn't I? Because that is a reasonable place to put things. Let's see. Aha, there they are. Right, actually, I think we got another order. 
Alright, yes, the rest of the Detective Pikachu is gone. Let's see, we'll grab both of those. Two beautiful packs. Hoping for Mr. Zard. Snip. Alrighty, we're starting off with a cute little Bulbasaur. We have Snubble, the champ. And, oh, okay. Well, we got the other GX, Mr. Greninja. Now we can just hope that I will finish off with a Charizard GX. And then we'll get you all three within six packs. That's like, that'd be pretty solid. Alright, starting off with a Morlul. We have Jigglypuff, Lickitung, and, alright, we got another Mewtwo. Just not the GX one. This is still a pretty cool card, even if it's not Mr. Zard. Greninja is also super slick, though. Alright, I'll get those into your stack. Let's see. There we go. And let me refresh orders. Alright, now I can start showing you all my new cards. Let's see, one of these is actually for my sister, so... I just need to actually remember to give it to her. Ta-da! One time when we were out looking at cards, she saw a Greedent, and so I was going to get her one, but then I lost it. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. But so I got a new one to give to my sister. And I'm putting it over here next to the Rhydon I'm supposed to give to my brother. Because I felt like it. Alright, now for my cards. I just love Prison Stars too much. And so I got this really cool Volcanion from Forbidden Light. And we have this beautiful Nisdravus from Neo Discovery. It's in terrible condition. It's got a lot of, like, bends in it. But it's just such a cool card, I couldn't pass up on it just because of the condition. Then we got this lovely Sigilith Secret Rare. I don't know, I feel like Sigilith is kind of underrated. But, you know, oops, Mr crushing hammer here. I think I'm going to switch out a card in my flex deck for this, because it's actually kind of a nice card to have, and it is more convenient to have some item cards than, like, none. Then another prism star. It's beautiful. We got a brawly secret rare. I actually quite like him in my fighting deck in the online game. So I thought this would be a nice addition for a fighting deck that I'm going to start working on in real life. Then we got this Aqua Patch. I don't know, it sounded handy and it also just looked cool. I was like, yeah, I'll get that. Attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench water Pokemon. I mean, that's honestly quite helpful. It'd be nice if I make my Empoleon deck. Then we've got this gorgeous Raikou Suicune Legend card. It is heavily played, but it made it so that I could afford it, so no complaints on my part. And it's so shiny. And then to finish off, have a full art Dragonite from Furious Fists, and I absolutely adore it. It is amazing. I'm gonna put it in a nicer sleeve and then put it in a top loader. Oh, yes. X and Y era texture. So amazing. There we go. Just as Fancy Dragonite deserves. Beautiful. Actually, there's like multiple of these that should be in top loaders. I just was only thinking about Dragonite. Let's get both of these secret rares. I mean, both of the rainbow rares and then both of the gold cards. Unless I just throw them. I would love to like make a deck, like my fighting deck, and then just have like a bunch of rainbow brawlies in it, and people will just be like, what? And I will just be like, yes. <laughs> I think it would be great. And about the, the Raikou Suicune Legend card, even though it apparently is heavily played, it was still pretty pricey. So yeah, I definitely would have been able to afford it if it was minty. 
Oh my goodness, but it's gorgeous. I think this is my second legend card I have gotten. I think the other one is like Darkrai Cresselia, the top half. Either way, I freaking love legends cards. They're so cool. All right, now let me refresh orders real quick. All right, I don't see any more yet. I don't know where you can buy all of these. I, as far as I'm aware, the store only had one of each of them. At least that they had out on display. Alright, now I'll stick my new fancy cards back into my box. <laughs> yeah, so I was pretty excited about getting those. Ooh, and I also found this while I was shopping today. So I got my third money box. I could not help it. Let me, let me grab this whole thing. So when I bought my first two from the one guy, he gave me the display box with it. So now I have, let me move this up. No, my calculator! Now I have the display box of Marnie boxes. If I had one more, it would be complete. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I didn't think I was gonna find any more. And then all of a sudden, this was before my eyes, and I was like, yes. I'm probably going to open one of these, though, so it probably won't ever get full. I might op even open two, but for now, it's got three party boxes in it. And it's pretty amazing. Alright, let me stick this back up on my shelf. There we go. And pick up my calculator. Struggle to pick up my calculator. Have you seen what's inside? Yes, yes, I have. Though I haven't opened one myself, I have seen. Can I buy all those? No, I'm sorry. They are not for sale at this current time. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of. I played Monopoly with my family yesterday. And honestly. <laughs> It was, it was the best game of Monopoly I've ever played. I, I had, I had a great time. And I don't, that's not usually how people respond to Monopoly, I don't feel like. But I had a lovely time. Oh, I'm gonna make this go back down. But yeah, so basically what I did is, I was lucky enough to acquire a lot of properties. They are all different colors. So I had like one of each color except for maybe like two. Like I never got to Boardwalk or Park Place. Like, you know, didn't have those. And I think there was like one or two other colors. But that meant that I had a lot of cards that other people wanted. So what I would do is when people were really wanting were really in like they would we, they would ask me if I would sell them the cards and I say no they're not for sale right now and so they were just like what about now I was like nope not for sale right now and so I just kept doing that for a little while and then when people were really like desperate to buy cards because nobody had like houses or hotels at this point I started making deals and how I I made my deals is I would offer people like two places that they needed to complete their sets and trade for them not charging me rent anymore. So whenever I land on their properties they wouldn't charge me rent. And one by one I got everyone at the table to agree. At uh, By the time everybody agreed I just had the two worst properties left and I slapped a hotel on each of them and then I just went around the board just vibing because I didn't have to pay money to any of them. The only times I'd have to pay money is if I got like a chance or a community chess card that told me I had to pay money. Or I guess um, like the tax cards, like the tax squares. But any property I land on, landed on, I didn't have to pay anything. It was so great. I honestly had a great time. I was like, this is the best. Everybody else is like freaking out. Like if I land on so-and-so's property, I'm going to lose. And I'm over here like, but not me. <laughs> it was it was the best. Alright, looks like we have two more orders. So we've got 
a Metal Raiders for Kirby. And then a $10 mystery pack. And they sent in another order. Yes, and two $5 mystery packs. So let's do those. So two fives and a 10, and then a Metal Raiders for Kirby. So let's update that first. This one and two fives and ten. What about the official rules? Because some people are getting their rules. <laughs> yeah, I was like, my my dad was like, is that even like allowed? I'm like, I don't care. Everybody agreed to it, so it must be fine. <laughs> it was it was lovely. All right, starting off with Ace Landon. On two sleeve cards, we got a more Peko, four dollars off shipping, and a colossal V Max. I love that uh, card. Let me write down that you've got four dollar credit towards shipping. There we go. Now on to our two five dollar packs. Starting off with a Graveler, we have Skiddo. There's a nice purple reverse. First leaf card, a Vika Volt GX. See, this is the one from Guardians Rising. I remember the one time that I did a Guardians Rising box break with a couple other people. It was kind of fun. I definitely did the best job. <laughs> I got like, I think, probably like seven or eight ultra rares and then a full art Sylveon. <laughs> Everybody else was just like, what? It was, it was really something. Alright, we have a Go-Goat. There's a Blitzel. And for a sleeved card, you have a Porygon Z and a Shackle GX. So you got your two GXs. That's pretty solid. So there are all of those for ya. I'll go ahead and get them added into your pile. Let's see. I'm gonna need to move some stuff around. Because at the moment, there is no more room in the box that your pile is in. So I'm going to move somebody else's pile. Yes. Into a different box. Oh yes, perfect. Problem solved. <laughs> Alright, now on to the Metal Raiders for Kirby. Let's see, there we are. Go snip. Let's see what we can do in here. Starting off with a Harpy Lady. How nice. Musician King. Killer Needle. Yes. Oh, we got a Heavy Storm Reverse. Mylas Radiant. Okay, then. Tongyo. Mornfin. How nice. Queen's Double. And a Kaminari Attack. I'm going to go ahead and get that Holofoil into a sleeve. Let's see. There we go. There are those two main cards in there. And I'm assuming, once again, that you want the rest of these as well. You'll we'll get those all added to your stack. Alright, let me do another quick refresh. Any evolutions in hiding? I don't think I have um, any that's for sale right now in terms of evolutions. I still need to check with my vintage guy if he's got any more. The Harpy Lady. Alright, maybe I should get that one in a uh, sleeve then. I was just like, oh yes. Regular card. <laughs> 
Because alas, I still don't know what all is super spicy in Yu-Gi-Oh. See, where's the hobby lady? There she is. There we go. Harpy Lady is now also in a sleeve. And we'll add that back into your pile. I got it. <laughs> Ablutions with trolls. Ooh. Alright, let's refresh. Do we see any more orders? No, not currently. So I'm kind of thinking I'll open a pack of Modern Horizons 2 now. This spicy pack. Never opened this set before, but I'm expecting great things. Uh, based on the little bit that I've been able to figure out about it, we should have a lot of good stuff in it. Shattered Ego. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. Alright. Got a Lightning Spear. Very fancy. Dusk Shell Crawler. Cable Initiate. Soul of Migration. That's real lovely. Sinister Starfish. Abundant Harvest. Ornithopur of Paradise. It's like a bird dragon. There's an Aeromeba. I don't know. Ghost Lit Drifter. How fancy. Have a Brain Stone. Feast of Sanity. That's really something. We have a rare Goblin Bombardment. Looks like a fun time. Another rare, Rishidan Dockhand. Nice. Search the premises. A Holofoil rare. It's a squirrel! I really love that. That's great. That's the best way you could have ended it. With a squirrel! Oh, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Well, cool. That one had many rares in it. Not a bad set at all. Yeah, there was three rare cards. I like it. I'm thoroughly impressed. Alright, let me see. Let me find my box of magic. Well, one of them. I have two. Opened one of my bundles earlier. So now I have this fancy box that looks like an ETB. To put them in. Yeah, I got opened some cool stuff today and even got this fancy 20 sided dice. It's very large. I quite like it. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked fancy dice. Let's see. There we go. Back onto the shelf with you. Alright, now that I've opened my pack, I will check orders again. Let's see... It doesn't look like we've got more yet, so we will just vibe. So, my online classes don't technically start till, I think, Thursday or Friday this week? Thursday. But today we had to do like an onboarding course thing. But um after I did the onboarding thing, I was like, what if I just get a little bit ahead of one of my classes? So I looked at what I have to do for animation and the assignments were super easy. Like it was just a bunch of reading like little like articles about animation history and then answering a few questions so like it was super chill and I finished the rest of the month of August for it 
I was like, wow, that was really surprisingly easy. And then now my next activity, I'm actually really excited for it because for my first animation, I'm going to be doing like a claymation, like little mini video. And I'm really excited for it because one, clay is fun. Two, I'm going to make it Pokemon. Let me, let me grab the clay that I got today. So like, I got a couple different options so I can decide what I like to use best. But so I got this clay that comes in tons of colors. It is pretty cheap too. I like cheap stuff. But yeah, so I got these options. I got two of them since they're fairly small. And even though I plan to make like the figures for the animation pretty small, I would not mind having, you know, extra. And then I also bought, mm, brought some model magic because I've used this stuff to make like uh, st things before. I actually once made a miniature flamingo sword. I should see if I can find a picture of that because that was so legit. But it was out of model magic. So now I'm like, well, I know I like this stuff. But yeah, I'm going to try these two out and see what I want. And I'm so excited. I love clay. Like it's one of those things that I always see and I'm like, I want to buy that and then I think do I have any reason to buy that and then I come to the conclusion that no I don't <laughs> but now I need it for my animations class so it, it just works and who knows maybe I'll decide I'm really good at making Pokemon figures and start making and selling them I feel like that would be super cool like, you know I got like this perfect Pikachu yellow here I don't know what other Pokemon any of these other colors I guess we could do like a Jigglypuff. This orange makes me think of Camerupt. <laughs> Such random variety. And I guess if I mixed some of the lighter colors with this blue, it could be like a nice Lapras. Yes, so many options. But yeah, I'm really excited because clay stuff is super fun. And I can feel how squishy it is through the bag. Like, I just keep squishing it. I'm like, I can feel the squish. Maybe I should do like a ASMR making clay figures video while I work on making them. I feel like that would be kind of vibey. I would just be like in squish. I'm, I'm excited to say the least. Like, the options it gave were like, make a stop motion animation using like, paper figures, clay, or magazine clippings. And I was just like, there is only one option. The red worm alien haunts you. Oh, poor Kirby. Oh, we got another order for Venmo guy. We have a $100 mystery pack. He's been too long since we've opened one of these spicy boys. Like right off the bat, we're hit with an X and Y era Sharpedo EX Full Art Phantom Forces, and it's pretty spiffy looking in my opinion. I also really love Sharpedo. Next up, we have a secret rare Alolan Muck. I don't know why, but like the rainbow just really works well on him. And to finish off, we have a Cynthia Full Art Trainer. I feel like this is a pretty solid trio of <laughs> full arts slash, you know, rainbow, but technically it's a full art. So I hope you enjoy those spicy cards, especially that Cynthia. I love Cynthia cards so much. So yeah, there are those spicy cards for you. Let me add them into your stack. There we go. Man, I love opening $100 mystery packs. It's so exciting. <laughs> like, I legitimately don't remember what's in them, and then I see them, and I'm just like, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I can see Nick is excited about Cynthia. I mean, who wouldn't be? Such a cool card. Very cool trainer. Not quite as cool as the Altart one from Hidden Fates. But now, I don't know if I have a duplicate of that one. <laughs> 
It's both of them are great cards though. Cynthia and Lusamine. Like those two are just like so cool. I use uh Lusamines in deck decks sometimes because they're kinda cool. Can I end up putting a Lusamine in this deck? Let me look and see. Let's see, we've got Suspicious Food Tin, Mars. Oh look, there we go, it's Lusamine! Pokemon Breeder, Malolana, Bead, Bead. Oh, look, there's Lusamine times two. Wishful Baton, Avery, Lusamine times three. Delinquent, I actually learned that this is a banned card. Thanks to the um, online game. I was like, wait, what? It's so cute, though. So I might have to move that out of this deck if I do anything much with it. But, I mean, for non-official stuff, I think it's fine. So we also got Energy Retrieval, Guzma. Couple bird keepers, Clara, Agatha, Lady, and Pokemon Center Lady. I don't know, I just, Lucy means pretty cool. Plus, I like what she can do. You can take two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. So you can just, you know, get stuff back all the time. And that is why I have a lot of Lucy means. I may switch one out for a couple other things I was considering putting in my deck, but it's to be decided. Man, I just love full art trainers. They are also amazing. But yeah, like that crushing hammer secret I showed earlier, I'll probably switch out with something to go in there, cause, I don't know, it's just a handy card. At least when you get a heads with the flip of the coin. All right, let me take a second to turn off my space heater because I'm starting to melt. All right, there we go. Now I will stop melting. Let's see if we've got any more orders yet. All right, we can just keep vibing. So lately I haven't been growing a ton. Like in the last couple weeks, I don't think I've gained like more than like five or six subs and I'm like okay so you know I passed a thousand but after that growth has been so slow and so I'm trying to figure out like what I can do to help my growth like increase and then I'm like well shoot I'm about to start school so <laughs> this is quite inconvenient but I have come up with a couple ideas. I probably won't do quite as much streaming once school starts because I actually like have to have a bedtime. Ugh. But because I won't be streaming as much, there will be a little bit more time that I can use to make other content. And I'm also considering while I'm doing my animation assignments, I could use them to make content for the channel. Like, like I said, I want to do a Pokemon claymation with, for my one assignment. And I'm like, well, that would be great to post on the channel, unless it turns out really bad. I do intend to post it, so I think that will be fun. But of course, that's just going to be one video. But I mean, I guess if it goes really well, I could start consistently doing claymations, but we're not going to get that far ahead yet. I also think doing more ASMR would be cool. And occasional game streams, but since I won't have as much time for streams, I'll try and do rip and chips when I do have the time. But yeah, I uh, definitely want to work on getting some more variety of content out there, and hopefully we can grow some more. Because right now it's just a little bit slow. Anyways, we do have a new order. We've got a King's Court for Chase. So let me update that. I also didn't update this. Let's see. Alright, so let's grab that pack of King's Court. And we'll see what we can do for ya. Snip. Alright. Spiciness, here we come. Starting off with a dousing fusion. There's a Wind of Arsenal, Pot of Duality, Zolga the Prophet, Majestic Dragon, Cloud Castle, and a White Rosed Cloister. Looks like something you would find at the Cloud Castle. 
me stick that in a sleeve for you. And we will get it added to your stack. Let's see. Focus. Focus on the one you want. It's nice. He's not super keen on focusing. But yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll refresh our orders again. Alright, nothing else yet. So, I mentioned earlier that I finally figured out my schedule for school. So I mentioned that I'm doing animation, that's one of my online ones. And then, my other online one is business law, which is really just an actual class that I'm like, I think is gonna be important for me to take, even though I don't necessarily want to take it. Since I want to be an entrepreneur, I'm like, it should be... It should be, it would be a good idea to know the laws that are going to govern me. So yeah, I've got that one. And then in person, let's see, I'm doing creative writing, which I'm excited for because I always love creative writing. And then I wanted to take a theater class, but all the ones this semester were full. So I was like, I guess not. And instead I'm taking psychology. Because all my other options were also filled, so I was like, okay, so I just want something chill for my senior year. What do you recommend? And she was like, I know we have a really good psychology teacher and people love that class. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> so that's how I ended up with psychology. Ooh, all right, we got an order for some full metal ball. I like the sound of that. We have five packs for Andre. Let's see, full metal ball, right there. Okay, let me grab those. Just whack to my knee on the table. Oh, that reminds me, I should start a poll to see what Japanese sets should, sets should I stock? on tag team sets because those are cool do early sun and moon Era or sword and shield. Let's do early sword and shield. All right. There we go. We will now have a poll. AP World History. I actually uh, started doing AP World History in 10th grade, but I ended up too busy with everything I was doing that year, so halfway through I just went into regular World History, but I actually really do like World History and stuff like that. Let's see. I did do AP Geography for a full year in 9th grade though, and I actually really enjoyed that. We learned a lot of cool stuff. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. And yes, yes, I did get your package today. I peeked in it, but I haven't had time to go all the way through it yet since as soon as I got home, I had to get ready for stream. All right, there are five fancy smancy packs of full metal wall. Let's see what we can get for you. There's one to the front. Starting off with Devolution Spray Z, Ryalu, Payukumumuku, Golbat, and a Tangrowth. So nothing much for that first pack, but let's hope this next one might be a little bit better. Here's one to the front. Starting off with a Sand Shriek, Hitmontop. There's a cute little Slowpoke. We have a Metapod and a Golem Holofoil. Let's get that into a sleeve. 
On to pack number three. Snake. Alright, we've got one to the front, starting off with a Genesect, Zubat, Firo, Caterpie, and this place. <laughs> How exciting. Some place. Snip. Alright, there's one to the front. We've got this Beast Bringer. There's an, there's, I keep trying to call it Alolan. This is just a regular Sam Shruzel. Get it in your head. There's a Diglett, Squirtle, and a Cartana. Let's get that sleeved up. And we got one more pack. Let's hope for a GX. Or just, you know, anything spicy. Snip. There's a wand to the front. Starting off with this fancy thing. Ekans, Geodude, Lumia, and a Butterfree. Butterfree is so delightful. Alright, there are those two cards for ya. Let me see, do we have a stack for you right now? Um. Do, 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 do. Checking stacks. Aha, there we are. Got it. Cool, cool. Let me refresh our orders again. I'm curious to see how the poll is going. All right, we've got 86% tag team sets, 14% early sun and moon sets, and no votes for early sword and shield. I completely agree. <laughs> Except for I do really want to open some sword. And maybe shield packs. But yeah, tag teams are always super neat. We only have seven votes technically though, so I definitely will leave that up for a while longer. And hopefully we'll get some more answers so I can have more of a, you know, a better idea. I think I still have one. Still have what? A pack? Because we opened five, as you can see by the five tops of packs. One time these things come in handy. <laughs> Let's see, unless we set five. Oh, unless you just said the wrong thing on here. Let me check. Oh yeah, no, I think... I'm so confused now. Oh, a stack! I was like, what? Okay, yes, yes, you do have a stack. We did indeed find that. Yes, I was very confused for a second. Yeah, I, uh, I spent a lot on my Marnie boxes, but I'm just really happy that I was able to get some, because I didn't know if I would, but I say it worked out pretty well, because now I have three, and I'll probably open, like, two of them. I can't decide if I should just, like, open one on stream, or if I should make a regular unboxing video. Like, I don't know, I haven't done a regular unboxing video in a long time. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I think it was when I went out of town for a few days would have been the last time. The comment was delayed. It really do be like that sometimes. That is uh, quite relatable. Very understandable. It just, it likes to be special. For fun. Alright, we don't have any more orders currently, so we can just like kind of vibe. Just have a groovy time. But yeah, it's gonna be weird going back to school uh, in person after <laughs> doing online last year, which I personally way preferred. 
I don't really know why I decided to go back in person for a couple classes, but it's too late to go back now. At least it will only be till January though. And then I will be free from school for like ever. And that honestly sounds really nice. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to it. All right, we got another order. We have a $20 mystery pack for Venmo guy. Let's go ahead and do that. Starting off with a Poplio. Then for our sleeved cars, we have a Slowbro EX, a Mewtwo GX, and a Misty's Tentacruel Holofoil from one of the gym sets to finish it off. Let's get that in a top loader because it's spicy. Gotta love the vintage holofoils. Always oh, amazing. This pack was almost a water pack, but then you two had to mess it up. <laughs> Alright, congrats on those pulls. I will get them added into your stack. And now I need another drink. Seriously, that stuff is like the best. Like, it's Sprite with like passion fruit, strawberry, and lime, and it is just superb. It's delicious. Alright, looks like that is all as of yet. Oh my goodness, this funny little bean picture. Oh, I have some more pictures that I need to add um, to the little slideshow thing, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. At some point, I will. some point. We'll, we'll see. Let's see. Oh, I just got a message from my vintage guy. I should ask if he's got evolutions. Evolutions. Oh, I am gonna get some new Shining Fates. S not Shining Fates, Shining Legends soon. It'll be five more packs, so I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be pretty vibey in my opinion. It's always exciting to get Shining Legends. I mean, it's really hard to find. Man, I wish, I wish I could just go back to when you could always find boxes of it at Target and just like, buy more of them but at the time i didn't know what was in them but now i do and i want it a lot <laughs> there is really such a phenomenal set i mean i did get one but i don't think i like pulled anything out of it yes i was gonna do some work on it today but then i was like oh school but i think i might have more time tomorrow I'm gonna try to get up at a decent time. I have a lot I want to do tomorrow, so I just plan on just grinding through all the stuff I need to do, and hopefully I'll have some time for painting. Let's see, I want to work on my claymation tonight, and then I think tomorrow, let's see, maybe I'll get up around, probably be better if I got up around 12, or no 11, but I'll probably get around like 12 or 1. Take like an hour to get ready for the day. Plan to be ready by 1.30. And let's see. What do I have to do tomorrow? I'm going shopping with my mom. That'll probably take like 3 hours max. So if we did that at like 1. I would take till 4. And like give me a little bit of time before dinner. What do I need to do that would take an hour? I don't know yet. I mean, I could paint then, actually. If I started some painting then, and then after dinner, I'll be working on, we're picking up a bunch of clothes donations. So I gotta go through, help go through some of that, at least. But then after that, I can check in on the painted cards and do some more work, since they'll probably be somewhat dried after working on them prior. 
yeah, I think this is a good plan. I think, I think this idea for tomorrow is a good one. Of course, my body will not agree with it, that it's a good plan when I wake up at like 11. And it's just like, what am I doing awake? But you know, it happens sometimes. It really does. Hmm, I kind of want to open a pack of battle styles. But I can't decide. Tempted by darkness, but it's not very nice. Darkness is just all over the place. I don't think it makes any sense. I mean, I only have four packs of it right now. Actually, I might have six packs, but the other ones are in boxes, and I don't feel like <laughs> tearing open the boxes right now. It's just... I don't know. Alright, let's see. We're up to 12 votes on the Japanese sets thing. Got still way in the lead. It's tag team sets. Alright, I will buy tag team sets. That is what I will do. I mean, a couple people on early Sun and Moon and early Sword and Shield. I will probably get like one or two boxes of each of those. But I'll definitely focus on tag team sets very happily. But I guess now the question is, is do we want like the higher end stuff like Tag Bolt and Dream Leap? Or do we just want more of the regular stuff like Miracle Twin, you know, Full Metal Wall, GG End, whatever the other regular ones are. And then there's Double Blaze, which I think is kind of like in the middle. It does have the Reshazard, so that's why it's kind of more expensive. Is the Charizard considered a full art? Um, well, it's a VMAX, and most people I don't think consider VMAXs as full arts, though they do have texture and, like, the image takes up, like, the whole card. But, I mean, I feel like either works. Let's see, I should look at a list of the different Japanese sets, because I like doing that. Or I guess first I should check for orders, and then I should look at a list. All the Japanese sets. Dreaming Tag Bolt, Tag Team All Stars, Double Blaze, Amazing Bolt Tackle. Alright. I think I might like sample it like with one of the higher end and then one of the lower end because sometimes it takes a really long time to sell Japanese stuff. Other times it sells quickly, uh, then sometimes it just will not sell. And I'm like, I don't know if this is what you want or not. Oh right, yeah, let's uh. Hop over here. So we've got GG End, Sky Legends. Does that one even have very many tag teams? I know it has the birds. Let's see. We've got Keldeo GX, Naganadel GX, Ultra Zapdos, Articuno GX. That's literally it. That's the only tag team in it. Wait, wait, what is this? Let me scroll back up to the top. I almost missed it. It's got Rowlet and a little executor. So it actually has two tag teams, excuse me. Recycle energy. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. It's got Jesse and James and the Pokemaniac. Alt art. And then alt art that's a promo in English. Honestly, it'd be really cool to get this in Japanese. But you have like a lower chance of getting it. But it's still cool. And let's see. What next? Tag bolt. Night Unison. Oh, I haven't gotten that in a long time. See, it's Venema. Dedene. The Dedene that's super power index. Yes. Oh, we got Greninja Zorart. I really like that. And then the Code of Sylveon. I love it so much. Why haven't I bought more of this set? There's a full arts. Love that alt art, but love this alt art the best. Like how freaking gorgeous. I need this. I don't care if it's English or Japanese. I need that card so bad. And then we got Janine. Koga's Trap. Oh, Koga's Trap is a nice card. I like I like poisoning <laughs> the, other, the other Pokemon. So that's not too bad. Also the rainbow tech teams are amazing. They're so amazing. I'm, I'm such a fan of tag teams. Like, yes. Alright, and let's see what next. So yeah, I haven't got Night Unison in a long time, so I may do that one as one of the lower ones. I mean, I guess if I can find it, that is. There's a Pheromosa and Buzzwool. Got Blastoise. 
Oh yeah, this is the one. This is a Full Metal Wall. This is, this is I believe this is the one with the spicy rainbow blastoise. And there's the Lucario Melmetal. Celestela. And then Altart. Altart. Rainbow Blastoise, my guy. Pretty vibey. Pretty vibey. We got Green Search and Molain. And some other random stuff. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want the Guard of War? It's amazing. So yeah, I guess I don't need more Full Metal Wall yet since I still have a bit, but I guess that's just a reminder of what's in there. And on to Double Blaze with the Rush's Art. Such a gorgeous card. Paying to go against in the online game, or I guess in the game in general, if you have, if someone has it and they know how to play it well. I also got Muck and Alolan Muck. I love it. Candy Blob and Purple Blob Men. And then the Marsh Dynamo Champ. I love that tag team. Oh, it's Snorlax! I love this card. It is so cute. Just amazing. Green is very valuable. Oh, I would imagine. I would... Uh, that's definitely what I would would assume as such. Alright, we got the Full Art Rushes art here. And then we've got the Alt Art Rushes art, which is actually a promo in English. But oh my goodness gracious, this card is so cool! I love it. I love it so much. And then I love the Alt Art for the Double Muck tag team. Like, that coming out of a man all like... Oh my goodness, it's just, it's adorable. Alright, this, I'm literally in love with this card. I need it so badly. It is so pretty. Shoot, yeah, I really need to get some more double blaze. Oh dear, let's just go. Yeah, this is definitely a set I will try to get more of too. And then let's see, train arrives, we got Giovanni's Exile, Welder, Red Challenge. I think that one's pretty good. And there's a Rainbow Rushizard. Rainbows of the rest of them. Fire Crystal is kind of nice for fire decks. Actually, it's like super nice. You like it to pull like fire energies out of the discard pile. And triple boost energy. It can be very helpful at times. All right, let's go back to see what other sets I should consider. Oh wait, actually we got an order first. So we will continue on to, Let's see, where were we? A double blaze. We'll continue on to GG end after this. All right, we've got two vivid, two Eevee heroes and a shiny star V for BMW. I like it. I like that very much. This is good stuff. Let's see, vivid, bring down to 29. An Eevee, V, 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 V. Bring it down to 9, and then Shiny Star V will bring it down to 11. And hopefully I'll be restocking EV before I run out. Unless I got scammed, but we're gonna find out soon. Yeah, um, fun stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and get opening these. EV and where is Shiny Star V. Oh, do I need to open a new box of it? Alright, we shall open a new Shiny Star V box. Blue Sky Stream. I'm still working on getting that. I'm just like, how is it taking so long? But I will have the two most recent Japanese sets soon. It's just a matter of when they decide to show up. Which, who has any idea how long that is going to be? I mean, probably the guy that I'm getting them from, but, you know? Alright, let's see. Some Shana Starby. There we go. We got it. Alright, such a superb set. Alright, there we go. 
too vivid to Eevee and a shiny star V. Start with the bottom. Snip. Let's grab that code card out. Whoosh. We got a one, two, three, four to the front. Starting off with a Lightning Energy, Stunfisk, Sableye, Cramorant, Wilmer, Weedle, Beldum, Bampy, Duskull, Moomichis Reverse, and a Dusk Noir Holofoil with that Disco Hollow Bleed. Vibe Hollow Bleed. Now, car now Hollow cards at this point like feel weird if they don't have Hollow Bleed to me. I'm like, you know, this really says things. Oh yeah, the new fusion whatever. I haven't really looked at it much. But yeah, I just hope I can get Skystream and Towering Perfection before it comes out. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we've got an energy, Girafferig, Moo Moo Cheese, Duat, Drillbur, Clefairy, Welmer, Tanamo, oh, there's an exit cube, the Dang Reverse, and a Lycanroc. To finish off our vivid. Next up is Eevee Heroes. Whoosh. Alright, we've got a Marsh Stomp. There's a Dupe Hider. Morel. Indeedy. And this energy thing. It hasn't been released or leaked yet, really. Well, you know, I mean. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, nice to see you, John. Whoosh. Alright, we've got this badge thingy. Swadloon, Slugma, Sandy Gas, and a beautiful Zorark Holofoil. Let me slip that into a sleeve. Alright, and now onto some spicy Shiny Star V. Let's get the good stuff out of this one. First off, we've got our nice little cup foo. Let's see, one to the front. There is a Toxel Mirafoil. We've got a Ducklet, Silicobra, Hatrim. There's some Cork Place, Eggle Slash, Metal Disc. We got a Toxtricity, a beautiful Zamazenta, and a lovely Dubwool to finish it off. Let's get those sleeved up. I like that we got the Toxtricity and Toxel. Very nice, in my personal opinion. Go! <laughs> Chase is like, I'm not impressed with the Ho-O, but I'm still gonna buy a 10,282 of them respectable. Alright, there are all of those for you, BMW. I'll get them added into a stack. I don't remember if we still have them or if we sent it all out. So let's check and see if we still got anything for you. Still like full boxes to go. <laughs> so many boxes. Okay, not seeing one, so let's start a new one. Also, just shout out to anyone that has stuff with me and hasn't shipped in longer than like three weeks. I would appreciate it immensely if you email me about getting your stuff shipped and so we can figure out what it will cost and get it sent out as soon as possible. Because it will, I will not have as much time for shipping 
or anything once school starts. I'll still have, you know, enough time to get stuff shipped, but I'd rather get as much things that are just sitting around shipped now than waiting until my life is extra busy. Hi, it was good to see you, John. Sleep well. It is good to see you too, Joe. Alright, we got four Darkness Ablaze now for BMW. I knew the darkness couldn't last for terribly long. Let's do some Mr. Zard hunting. I'm tempted to get a Darkness Ablaze booster box, but I just can't decide if I'm going to or not. Like, I just don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna steal this code card. Alright, we've got full to the front, starting off with a Psychic Energy, Parasect, Hiding Energy, Fletchender, Electrike, Pansage, Skarmory, Starly, Torchic, Pansy Reverse, and a Muck to finish it off. Did I get your order? Two Full Metal Wall. Yes, I'm sorry I didn't get to that yet. We will do that after BMW's order. Alright, on to the next pack of darkness. Let's steal that code again. Let's get something spicier. There's four to the front. Starting off with a fire energy. Soul Rock, Poltergeist, Vanillish, Found Sweet, Naked, Larvitar. There's a Galarian Dermaka, Carablast, Dartrix Reverse, and a Lipard. Nothing too spicy from that one either, but we will hope for better luck from pack number three. Let me snag that code card. Got one, two, three, four to the front. Starting off with a metal energy. We have Doug Trio, Ariados, Old PC, Glaring Dermaka, Car Blast, Ducklet, Jigglypuff, Trapinch, Bunnelby Reverse. Oh, I love this one! We have a beautiful Butterfree VMAX. It's such a darling card. Butterfree. I freaking love Butterfree. Amazing. Alright, and on to this last pack. See if we can get something groovy out of here, too. Maybe the first two packs were both meh. Let's see if we can get hits out of the last two. Especially, like, both VMAX hits. Especially if this one was a Charizard. Alright, we got an Energy, Ursaring, Old PC, Steeny, Larvitar, Paris, Rallet, Bunnelby. Got a Meltan, Gothita Reverse, and an Excelgore. So sadly no Charizard, but at least we did get a lovely Butterfree. We'll get all of those added to your little stack. And now for two Full Metal Wall for Chase. Alright. Let's go. Whatever is right here. There we go. Two packs. Oh, by the way, um, Andre, if you're still here, should I open my package on stream or should I open it off stream? Should, uh, let me know because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, so I'm gonna make you decide. <laughs> Alright, we got a Lolan Doug Trio, Melton, War Turtle, Rally, and a beautiful Lucario Holofoil. Let me sleeve that up. Very beautiful. And on to the next one. Go snip. There's one to the front. Starting off with a Mulane. We got Spiro, Laren, Hitmontop, and Hypno. So we at least got you that beautiful Lucario holler. Holler? Hollow. And into your stack it goes. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and refresh our orders once again. See if we got anything new. I'm also gonna clean up the bulk. And, let's see, if we don't have any more orders, we can go back to look at Japanese sets that I might get more of. Tell me you're closing up. 
Um, I think I should still be live by then. I'm most likely gone for at least an hour. It's pretty inconsistent though, just kind of however it goes, but more likely than not, I'll still be here. Alright, we've got two more full metal wall for a chase. Let's... Nope, not that one. This one. Let's update that. We'll grab those. Two beautiful packs. Let's see what we can get for ya. Snip. And we go along to the front. Starting off with an Agra. We have a Golbat. Tangela. Slowpoke. Ooh, we got that nifty Blastoise. I like that. I like that very much. That's beautiful. Now on to the second one. Come on, open up. There we go. One to the front. We have an Arbok. Drowsy Wrecked? Yes. Graveler, Metapod, and Green. There's that beautiful Blastoise GX for ya. We'll get that into the stack. And we'll refresh orders again. Excuse me. Alright, now I want to look back at more of these real quick. Or to GG end. It's got Heatran. Amazing Raichu, Alolan Raichu. Let's see, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's so much better. I don't know why he didn't do that sooner. Let's see, can we go one more? Yes, we can. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, so we got the Alolan Raichu, Raichu. Then, got Mawile over here. Garchomp, Giratina. Let me scroll down. Oh, I just love the Raichu ones. And the alt art, amazing. And the cool Giratina Garchomp Altart. We got Grimsley and Coach Trainer for the two trainers. I got the Rainbow Rose. Amazing. And I'm pretty sure Reset Stamp is actually a banned card. If I'm correct. <laughs> There's also Tag Switch and Black Belt. I like that. I like that very much. <laughs> yes, relatable. <laughs> Alright, next up Oh wait, we already looked at Skystream, didn't we? So next up we got Miracle Twins I love this Celebi I can't help it It's amazing And then it's the Slowpoke Psyduck ah, I love this card It's so amazing Also have Mew Mewtwo Another amazing card This set is just Why is this set so just good? And there's a Latios Aerodactyl, Sableye Tyranitar, Dragonite, why does it have so many good Pokemon? Like, I can't even handle this set. It's just all amazing. There's Slowpoke Psyduck, Full Art, Alt Art, Mew Mew 2, Full Art, Alt Art. Oh, I need this card so bad. It's so precious. I love it. I got the other Full Arts, Alt Art of this. This is what I pulled when I opened my box the other day. Ah. Uh, I have, oh wait, no, was it that one or was it the rainbow? Yeah, it was a rainbow, excuse me. But yes, this one. This is the one I pulled. I freaking love it. I love it so much. And then, oh, this one's also got the Misty's Request, which is such a fantastic card. And then we also have Stra Channeler, Blue Strategy, and the rainbows of each of the Pokemon. And a couple rainbow energies. Honestly, absolutely phenomenal set. Oh my goodness. Remix Bout. This set is so amazing. But it's gone up in price a lot lately, and I think it's because of this. Charizard Breaks and Dag Team. Let's see. We also have this really cool Venusaur and Snivy. I just love it. And then the Blastoise Piplup. So as you can see, it's got like the base set boys trio, whatever you call them. All their tag teams and they're just amazing then i think those are just the three main oh there's also the holin persian gx the one that nobody wants <laughs> or at least nobody wants from this set then we got the full art alt art why is this card so amazing 
it just is matter of fact. Then there's a Charizard Breaks and Full Art Alt Art. I think this one's a promo card in English. But either way, it is freaking amazing. And the last with Piplup Full Art Alt Art. Look at the little happy Piplup. This card is so delightful. Now let's just scroll down here. Then we got Professor Oak's setup. I feel like I recently got this card in English. I don't know. Either way, it's cool. And we also got the roller skater. Actually, in another stream, someone pulled me this. I need to remember to pay shipping sometime. <laughs> and then there's Venusaur Snivy, Charizard Breaks in, Blastoise Piplup, all of the rainbows, yes. We'll scroll back down so we can see them all at once. Yes, the rainbows! That would be so exciting to pull. I mean, any of these three. This one, it would be kind of painful, but still rainbow. And then a few more gold cards. Hey, welcome to Adal Tells. And it was good seeing you, Chase. Sleep well. Oh, and welcome Manuel as well. Arbor's coming now. I'm just showing off uh, some Japanese sets that I'm considering getting more of. As you can see, we've got our little vote thing going on. Definitely still mostly people wanting tag team sets, though a bit more are showing interest in early sun and moon, but a teeny tiny bit in is interested in sword and shield, so not a ton a ton, but who knows, I might like get like one box of it. Everyone used to have Dream League in my series. I, yes, I mean, I don't blame it was, oh my goodness, I love Dream League, I opened way too much Dream League up myself, but I say I don't regret it. The cards are so stunning, and I love, love, love the character cards. Just freaking amazing. Speaking of Dream Link, that's next up on our list. Though, we're before we get into that, we've got an order for Manuel for two Eevees. So let me update that, and we'll open those. There we go. Go ahead and snip. Let me see something spicy. Whoosh. There's the one to the front. Starting off with a Kangaskhan, Mantine, Pancham, Electric. Woo! Right off the bat, a beautiful Jolteon. I love it. I love it so much. Alright, the next up. Second pack of EVs. Whoosh! There's one to the front. We're starting off with a cute little Floet. There's a Meowth. Zoru. Flabebe. And this thingy thing with a name that I don't know. Congrats on the beautiful Jolteon. Let me know if you want the bulk. Let's see. Do we have a pile for you currently? I do not recall. Oh, yes, we do. There it is. I got it in there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lucid. Much appreciated. I'm guessing you're saying explosive impact as in I should get more of that. Because that's a set, right? Is that the one? No. Is that the one that's the same as explosive flame walker? It seems like it. But I could be wrong. Also, Dream League. It's got this vile plume. He's just kind of chilling. It's got the Sagale Lunala. Freaking amazing. And then it's got Reshiram Zekrom. I am in love with this card. One of the cards I pulled early on in opening Cosmic Eclipse, and I have never gotten over how much I love it. And then the Silvali. Also love the Silvali. Oh, Explosive Impact, that's the one that's part of Lost Thunder. I do really need to get that one, but I've only seen it for so expensive, it's just really hard to convince myself to get it, but I have been considering it. But I mean, if people are interested, I would be very down. I just worry that it would be hard to sell, but I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind opening it for myself, but I don't know, it's going to be like... I think it could be upwards of like $200, but I'll have to see though. I will look into it. 
All right, and now for the really exciting part. These ones, I love them so much. We got the Torkoal, Weavile, Piplup, Wishiwashi, Pikachu, Magnemite, Smogon, Gallade, Mimikyu, Excadrill, Steelix, Stoutland. And they're all so amazing. I love these cards like crazy. I didn't realize there were quite this many of them. 12. There are 12 of them. I thought there were like 8 or 9. There are 12. I don't know if I have all of them. I think I have Torkoal. I, and I'm, this is combined English and Japanese. I'm pretty sure I have Torkoal. I know I have a Weavile. I have no clue about Piplup. I don't actually know at all. I do have Wishy Washy. I do have Pikachu. I've got Magnemite. I have Smogon. I think I have two. And I will desire infinite more forever. I've got Gallade, Mimikyu, Excadrill. I think I have Steelix. I honestly don't think I have Stoutland, but I need that. And then we've got the Altar Vile Plume, which I actually pulled that for myself once, and that was super exciting. And then the Zogaleo Lunala, it's so gorgeous. And then the Rishiro Synchro. I need this card really badly. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. And the Silvali. I love Silvali, so I really want that. Ends Resolution, freaking gorgeous card. I need it. Rosa, amazing. Lily. Yes, please. Then we got the rainbows of these three, and oh my freaking goodness, I love them. I mean, this set just literally guaranteed amazingness in every box. I mean, there's not even like regular full arts. Like, the most dis- I mean, it's got all of these extra secret rares that you can get. I don't even know how many of. Probably multiple, pos potentially. And then out of between the Vile Plume and Power Plant, I mean, either you're getting an Alt Art, a Full Art Trainer, or a Seeker Rare. And you cannot go wrong with them, they are amazing. I just, I love them so much. Let's see. Move me to Japan and make sure to get all the Japanese character cards from that set. That is, that is what I want to do. I want to do it so badly. It's also a promo card with Lily and Fairy. Oh, that sounds amazing. I'll definitely have to look into that. Alright, let me refresh orders real quick. Alright, looks like... Let's see. We've got a order for Chase, it looks like, of a $10 mystery pack. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, gotta switch back. There we go. Alright, and let's just see what we can get you. We're starting off with a core fish. Now for our sleeved cards, we have a Grim Snarl, Rush Around, Amazing Rare, and to finish it off, a beautiful Centiscorch VMAX. There are those beautiful cards for you. I'll get them added into your stack. Let's see? There we go. And let me check if there's anything else. Oh, excuse me. Do not need Leon's. They're all helpful. All right, back to this. So just one more moment of appreciation for Dream Leg. It's amazing. Like I said, it's gone up a ton in price since I first started buying it, but I will hope for the best and try to find some that's at least not gonna hurt too much to buy. Alright, next up, Alter Genesis. More stuff that was in Cosmic Eclipse in English. We got the Volcarona. Let's see, Oricorio. Does that even have any tag teams? Ligon. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ah, it's our first one. Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, the Gonadel, Guzzlord, yes, amazing, Dragon Pipes! Oh yeah, and Megalopunny and Jigglypuff as well. So we scroll down here, we actually do have the three full arts in this set. Then three full arts for the tag teams. And then the three alt arts. I love this one. I bought it in English a while back and it is just so freaking amazing. And then we also have... And I got a Dell and Lord. I 
think we pulled this one for somebody once. Freaking amazing. Beautiful. And then I've actually never like taken a chance to look at this one before, but it is so cute. I need that. I definitely need that. And then we've got tag team full art trainers. We've got Guzma and Hala. I think that's pretty cool. And then Cynthia and Caitlyn, another stunning card. And then this one I actually have like two of in English because I love it. The Malin and Lana. It's just so cute. And then I actually pulled this one once. The red and blue? Yes, it's blue. The, the background is just confused, confusing me. I'm like, wait, why is the background green? But yes, it's red and blue. I'm a, another amazing cards. And then, now to look back at all the secret rares. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yes. So we got the three regular, and then the three amazing tag team ones, which would be so cool. And then our gold cards. And let's see, and that leaves us with one final set with tag teams to look at. Which I probably will get at some point, but it just makes me sad to look at the price. It's so expensive, but it really is a stunning set. So yeah, it's got a lot of things from several, or all of the tag teams. I don't know. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. So tag team all-stars. We got the Faramosa and Buzzwool. Sceptile, Shaman Prison Star. He's got the Resizard. Victini Prism Star, Blaze Falon, Keldeo, Pika Zekrom, Volcanio Prism Star. This is the one I just bought in English today. Then there's the Dedene. And then we got Tapu Koko Prism Star, Zerora, Mew Mew 2, Dust Noir Trevenant, Gertina Prism Star, Marshadow Machamp, Deonsi Prism Star, Greninja Zorark, Incineroar, Lucario Melmetal, Mawile, Jirachi Prism Star, Tegaba Cleffa Igglybuff GX, Ninetales, Giratina Chomp, Rayquaza, Ultra Necrozma, Multizapdos, Articuno, Ditto Prism Star, and then we scroll down. I know you guys better prepare for some spiciness. As you can see, there's a bunch of Prism Star trainers and energies. I ain't got wishy-washy. Did I miss a, the wishy-washy higher up? Wishy-washy! I'm sorry, I didn't point you out, wishy-washy. You're just too blue. So you blended in with the card. Alright, so, wishy-washy. Wait, did I not see Espeon and Deoxys? Is that, is, 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 where? I don't, I don't see it. Is it, is it just only the alt art version? I don't know. Maybe. I can't find it. Same with the Dark Rite Umbreon. I did not see that as a regular one as well. Because it's got the Kari, Incineroar, Greninja, Zora. Alright, so yeah, it's just got the full arts and alt arts of those two, but not the regular cards. But yeah, so Wishy Washy, you got the Dedene alt, which is an alt art promo card in English, Espeon Deoxys Full Art, and then the Alt Art, which is also a promo in English, Trevenant Dusk Noir, and the Alt Art, Jirachi, which is a promo in English, Umbreon Darkrai, Umbreon Darkrai, but it's the one that's Alt Art slash promo in English, Weavile, Melmetal, Tikapi, Cleffa, Igglybuff, Full Art, and the alt art that is a promo in English. These two are both promos in English, the EVGX and this EVGX. Both just freaking amazing. I have both of them in English and they're so cool. We got Will. Okay, look, we got a lot of trainers. Ah! Will, Ergus Hospitali, Misty and Lorelei. Okay, but like, I want this. I most definitely want this. And then we got Sightseer, Blue's Tactics, Velbella, and Brysonman. Hapu, don't have any clue who that is. Green's Exploration, Roxy, Mina, 
clay, welder, and Red's challenge. And then every pack. Every pack comes with the hollow foil energy. And I think one pack out of each box has like a textured regular hollow foil energy. It's so weird, but it's so cool. And then for the rainbows! Mishy Washi, Ixpion Deoxys, amazing. Trevenant, Dust Noir, Jirachi, Umbreon, Dark Rain, amazing. Weavile, Melmetal, Togepoli Puff, Eevee. I did, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love the Eevee. But then, my favorite thing, favorite type of Pokemon card in existence, the Golden Tag Teams, including the one and only Golden Reshazard that I actually have. I pulled it for myself off camera and I was just like, ah! It's like, it's funny, like I grabbed a pack and I was like, hmm, I shouldn't open this, but what if I just happen to pull a gold card? Open it, rushes on! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. I think it's like my most valuable card. But then we've also got the Pikachu Zekrom. It is so freaking amazing. Next up, Mew and Mewtwo! How cool would that be to pull? So cool! Then we've got Greninja and Zorark. Oh, these are just too amazing. Lucario and Melmetal. I just love them. Then Garchomp Giratina. Oh, that's so sick. I love that. And then the last one. It's Multi Zapdos and Articuno. How cool would that be? That would be so sick. And then, oh, these must be the textured energies that are next. Let's scroll back down. Scroll, 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 scroll. So many cards. And then, oh, these must be the, the like, secret rare textured energies. Wait, no, not yet. These ones. These ones must be the secret rare textured energies. But yeah, that there for ya is Tag Team All-Stars, which is too amazing. It's too amazing. So yeah, I definitely want to get more of it at some point, but the price is so bad. Alright, looks like we've got another order. We have two full metal wall for Chase. So let me go ahead and update that. Let's grab a couple more of those. Y'all, I'm way too excited about Tag Team All-Stars and Dream League again now. They're just such freaking amazing sets. I'm just scared of how expensive they are. I mean, who knows? Maybe they somehow went down in price since I checked, like, a couple weeks ago. It's unlikely, but I can be hopeful. Alright, we got Perugly, Payakumumuku, Eren, Glumiao, and this place again. So exciting. Alright, and the second one let's see what we've got in here hopefully it's more spicy we got devolution spray z squirtle diglett geodude ah it's a slow bro i love slow bro so much amazing this card is gorgeous it's so delightful all right let me get that added in to your stack and now I need a quick drink after being very, very excited about Japanese sets. Oh, very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. Alright, now let us refresh orders. Alright, we're up to 24 votes and then back up to 71% tag team sets for what Japanese I should stock up on. I think it's pretty clear what the people want. And I am more than happy to give it to them. Oh, I just... Mm. Tag Team All-Stars is just so stunning. I adore it. Alright, we got two more full metal walls for Chase. Looking for a spicy altar. Yes. I love altars so much. I mean, really, like, who doesn't? Altars are amazing. I got three packs. He's just two. 
support from every one of your Japanese sets. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the ones that we've gotten flirts out of, I think a lot of them have been you. I can confirm. Alright, we got a Hypno. There's a War Turtle. Spiro, Drowsy, and Malane. And on to the second one. Snip. Got one to the front. We starting with Green, Slowpoke, Diglett, Ekans, and a Beast Ring. So exciting for a hollow foil, right? <laughs> hollow foils like this just make me laugh, but it's great. It's great. Right, and into your stack. And let me clean up my desk of paint before I refresh for orders. There we go. I'm back to thinking about making my claymation later. I accidentally saw the, 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 the clay on the floor and now I'm like, ah! I'm just so excited to play with clay. I, it, might, it may be silly, but I love, I love it. It's good times. All right, refreshing orders. That's what I'm doing, yes. All right, another full metal ball. I will grab the one that's right here. Snip. There's a one to the front. Starting off with a, what's his name? Arbok, Geodude, Caterpie, and <laughs> Perugly in the sink. Don't know why in the sink, but doesn't look very happy, so maybe it fell in the sink. Like, it's just straight up not vibing. Some nice apples, though. I wonder if we'll be getting any apples from the tree in my backyard. We have gotten a bunch of little baby peaches. They're supposed to just be normal peaches, but the tree is very young, so it doesn't really have full-grown peaches. But I've only eaten, like, part of one. I should eat some more of them, because peaches are amazing. I think they have a cherry tree, too, but I don't like cherries, so I'm not interested in that one. It seems like we might have a fourth. But I'm honestly not sure what other fruit tree we might have. I just know we have the cherry, peach, and apple. Maybe we have two apple trees. Who knows? My dad probably does, but not me. <laughs> I do not know. I just have a general idea of what's in the garden. My dad is the mastermind behind it. I mean, I definitely know there's corn because I have to walk past all the corn stalks when I want to check the chicken coop for eggs. And also, the chickens really like eating the leaves on the corn, so I'll get like pieces of leaves and like rip it up and give it to them, and they get so excited. Especially Nugget. She is so feisty about getting the leaves from the corn. It is, it is adorable and makes no sense, but I love it. All right, two more full metal walls. Let's go. More spiciness, here we come. Let's see, right? 15 grams? Yes, I think. Yes. Yeah, um, we've always kind of kept a garden, but in the last few years, my dad has really gotten into it. He just loves, loves making his garden so fancy. We grow so much stuff. All right, we got Diglett. Ekans, Paikumumuku, and Hangrove. And for the next one, Snip. There's one to the front. We've got Ultra Forest Cartonvoy, Graveler, Tangela, Ploin, ooh, and Lucario Melmetal. I love it. I realized the reason I was confused is because it's supposed to be 14, because I forgot to count the one that we opened. Only all the sets of two. Alright, congrats on a beautiful tag team. And your stack it goes. And now I will fix this to say 14 packs remain. We're in the last half. The home stretch. Final countdown. <laughs> Let's see, I know we have a really long pumpkin plant, but it has like one or two pumpkins. It used all of its strength to just like grow really long and like is too long. But we do have it. It does exist. 
And we have so many tomato plants, but I despise tomatoes. But we have tons of them. The chickens like them though, so every once in a while I'll go out and pick a couple tomatoes and give them to the chickens. And I'm like, yay, happy chickens. Oh, and of course we have my blackberry and raspberry bushes. We've gotten so many blackberries recently and they're so delicious. I love them. I love them very much. I had like one of them today. I should eat more. <laughs> Let's see, what else? I know my dad grows like some jalapenos or something because I guess he likes those. <laughs> They're not my style, but him and my younger brother like spicy stuff. And then what else have we got out there? I don't think the pea plants really got us much this year. They were kind of eh. We had like some cucumbers, but I don't like cucumbers, so I haven't paid a ton of attention to those. Or as a squash, not a squash person. Except when my dad let me feed a miniature squash to the chickens, and they loved it. They love eating. They're so funny. And when they want food, they will scream. Like, literally. It's so silly. They're very goofy chickens. And I love them for it. Let's see, can I think of anything else he grows? He also has a little uh, greenhouse that he built as an attachment onto his shed. I'm trying to think if he's got anything... I don't know what's in there other than that he's got a bunch of tomato plants in there. I don't really remember what else is in the garden, but there's a lot of stuff. There's things in the garden, there's things in the greenhouse, and there's things in our old sandbox that has now become an attachment to the garden. It's it's so fun, though. I, I, I like it. It's a convenient for when we need certain things. Oh, he grew, like, broccoli and... S I think he tried to grow lettuce, but we didn't get much of it. And same with cauliflower, but we definitely have gotten broccoli. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just kind of cool just having all that in the yard. Plus it's especially fun when I just want to feed the chickens something tasty. They love ripe blackberries. When, whenever I want, I just like gather a bunch of them and like toss them into the enclosure and they go crazy. They'll just peck, peck, peck at them. They'll fight over them if I can't get enough in there for each of them fast enough. And, I don't know, Nugget, like, inhales them, so she's instantly ready to eat more. It's so funny. But I just, I love it. I love spoiling the chickens. Alright, we've got an Eevee Heroes pack for Chase. Let's go. Snip. Go whoosh. Clink. Hit my hairspray. <laughs> Alright, we got an Electros, Rotom, Mudkip, Swaddle, and this elemental badge. So sadly nothing too spicy in that one. I really want to see like another Sylveon VMAX or something. I really like Sylveon VMAXs. I like all the VMAXs though. They are all beautiful Eevee Nations. They are, they are phenomenal. Yeah and I guess I mean we also get eggs now because of the chickens but I haven't liked eggs much. I mean, as a kid, I really loved good scrambled and boiled eggs, but as I've grown older, I haven't enjoyed them as much. So I don't think I've actually eaten any of the chicken's eggs, but we do get them. But it's very random when we get them. Some days we'll get like three, and other days we'll go like two days with no no eggs. We, we're not even 100% sure who's laying and who's not. We're just like, well, somebody. <laughs> Listen. Pumpkin is the best chicken girl. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. I should pull up a picture. I'm sure I've got one of, of Pumpkin somewhere. She's so spunky. She's literally a road runner. Like, she is a speedy girl. She doesn't like being held a lot. And so sometimes if I try to pick her up, she just whoosh! Total road runner mode. Like, it just cracks me up. Because she is a speedy baby. Look, there she is. Isn't she just so cute? Amazing. I love her. Yeah, I should eat them more, but I don't know. They don't always agree well with me. Alright, we got two more Eevee heroes for chips. Let me update that. Yeah, there's four left, right? Yes. 
Yeah, I know my dad has eaten a lot of them. I'm probably my brother's. I don't know, I just, usually when we're having dinners and eggs is one of the options. Often there are just other options I prefer. Alright, we got a water bottle. Eevee! Suwaddle, Mantine, and a Kangas Khan. So nothing too spicy out of the first one. We shall hope for better from the second. Eggs have too much flavor. I mean, they really are quite concentrated in terms of their egg flavor. <laughs> All right, we got Leveny, Pangoro, Dewpider, Electric, and a Wavy Raichu. I love Baby Raichu. Even though Raichu is more like of an adult, I guess, because Pikachu is like the baby, but either way, adorable. <laughs> Get that added in there. Alright, I should see if I can find more chicken pictures. Oh, that one is... Aha! Uh -huh. We've got Noodle here. She's by the other chickens. I think they were finding something that they were liking eating. I don't remember what though. Oh, I found one of Nugget running away with, I think it's a piece of a tomato. <laughs> She's just running for it. She's like, this isn't my tomato. The chickens love stealing food from each other. Oh yes, tis Tilly the dinosaur. She's literally a dinosaur. She's not a chicken. And let's see, who else have I got? There's Miss Nugget! She might have been screaming or something. Because her mouth was open. They love to scream. <laughs> Here's a funny one of her running. Just delightful. I just love the chickens. Where's a good one of Doodle? I just have one where you can just like see her from like an awkward side angle. I know I have more pictures of my chickens. Oh look, here's one with all of them. Oops. There's that one. And this one has all of them but Nugget because she was somehow just like in the enclosure just stuck. Do you think since the Gordy Full Art Trainer was pulled, you won't have another VMAX altered or Full Art Spicy? I mean, chances are there won't be another alt art or secret rare or full art pool, but it could have r regular VMAXs for certain. And I mean, there is a chance that you can get multiple in a box, it's just not guaranteed. It's possible, but it doesn't always happen. I've gotten so many VMAXs out of some of the EV boxes though, it's wild. Like, I don't even know, but apparently there are a lot of Japanese boxes that only have like two VMAXs in them, but I've gone through so many boxes that have had like four or five, and I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> where? I don't even know. I guess, I guess my guy that I get them from just has the best uh, stuff. All right, the EV Heroes is gone. Tis run out. So now we'll just hope that the box of it that I bought will actually come. Even though the person's forgot to t send me tracking and then asked me for more money and I'm like, okay, so now you sound like a scammer, but um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best. Hoping the EV Heroes shows up. If not, I will just order more and then be mad at them but like, we'll hope for the best. <laughs> All right, we got Marsh Chomp, Azumarill, Pancham. We got an Araquanid and a Floet. On to this third to last pack. Come on, give us spicy. We love beautiful VMAX. Maybe an altar? <laughs> All right, we got an Elemental Pin. There's a Floet. <laughs> Impidimp. Ooh. I forget how beautiful these cards are. Every time I see them, I'm just like, oh dang, those are nice. So amazing. So absolutely stunning. Love this set. Too much. I just want all of it infinite EV heroes. <laughs> all right, we're starting off with a Gordy, Swadloon, Sandy Gas, Zoro, and a Melodic. All right, let's hope for some last pack of magic. Sit. Go whoosh. One to the front. Let's hope for the best. We got the stadium. Meow. Indeedy. Mudkip. Persian. 
it finished off with the Persian. At least we did get a beautiful ultra rare Espeon though. Absolutely adore that. Amazing. So amazing. Neat. Hurry up this. And let's refresh orders. See if we got any others. Yes, yes, we do. We have two Sun and Moons and two Five Dollar Mystery Packs for Venmo Guy. Let's see. One and two of those. And two of those. Let's hurry and update those on the board. Did I update it earlier when we opened some Sun and Moon? You should double check. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. And it says... I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm just not going to question it. Alright. Let's see what we can get for you. Grab that code. Cut. Whoosh. Got a one, two, three, four to the front. Starting off with a darkness energy. Team Skull Grunt, Pessimian, Great Ball, Marini, Diglett, Dewpider, Meow, Growlithe, Cosmog Reverse, and Beware for the first rare. Let's get something spicier in the next one though. Because we really do like spicy things. It's just a matter of fact. Whoosh. Oof. Alright. So there's four to the front. Starting off with a fire energy. Big Malasada. Hypno. Pokeball. Sandy Gas. Eevee. Crew Brawler. Marini. Diglett. Fira Reverse. And a Primarina. Alright. Well at least we have the $5 mystery packs to make up for... Not much spicy from Sun and Moon. We're starting off with a Metapod, we have a Squirtle, Cubone, and for our sleep card, ooh, we have a Porygon Shadow from base set. Oh my goodness, I love Shadowless cards. I I don't. I just they're amazing. I'm actually getting a bunch more vintage cards soon. I think some of them are shadowless, but yeah, I'm really excited. There should be plenty for me and for mystery packs, so I'm stoked. Alright, we got Hydreigon, there's a cutie fly, we have a Grottle Reverse, and ooh, I love this so much. We have the Meloetta EX from the Radiant Collection in Legendary Treasures. Such an amazing set, such an amazing card. So pretty and sparkly. Alright, there are all of those for you. Hope you enjoy, and we'll get um, into your stack with the rest of the spiciness. Now we'll take a drink. Delicious. Alright, and now we will refresh the orders. And it doesn't look like we have any more yet. So we shall. We shall vibe just a little bit. It's been a hot second since I've opened something for myself tonight, so I'm not getting another order within a couple minutes. I may choose something to open. I want to do magic, but pretty sure y'all prefer when I do Pokemon. So if I do Pokemon, what Pokemon should I do? I mean, I could go for a Snipe with Full Metal Wall. I could just open a Dark Order. I might mind like a cool Hoopa pool. Ultra Sun. I love Ultra Sun. GGN. I still have a full box of that, don't I? It's the only uh, full box I still have. Yeah, I really need to get some more full booster boxes. Do not like random awkward white spaces. Oh, so much better. I see. Here's Move this to right there. Beautiful. Unnecessarily organizing things because it is nice. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say full metal ball. I don't know, I guess it's just, just how it goes. 
I don't know. There are some other cool options, though. Main. I don't think I'm gonna do an English pack right now. Either it's gonna be magic, or it's gonna be a Japanese pack. Those are, those are my choices. I don't think I'll open Shiny Star V. Will not be opening Team Rocket. Sorry for the disappointment. But it'll either, it'll probably be one of these, or some magic. Let's see what magic I've got out. We have Forgotten Realms, Modern Horizons 2, Kaldheim, and Zendikar Rising. Let's see, there's a giraffe for Forgotten Realms. Oh, but I also have these set ones. Also, how many Forgotten Realms have lifted? 15? Cool. Alright, what do y'all think? Magic or Japanese? I guess I could finally end the poll. We've got 27 votes now, and 70% have said tag team sets, 22 early sun and moon, and 7 early sun ship. So, uh, yes, tag team sets. Plus occasional, like, early sun and moon mixed in. I like it. Open a new box of Shining Star V. Uh, yes, we did open a new box. It's a Crobat box that we opened which usually have at least one big hit in them, similarly to booster boxes. So they only have six packs, which is kind of like, hmm, you know? Why did I buy Eevee? Because the, 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 the temptations of the evolutions, I can confirm it's very tempting. A lot of the boxes after the main hit was pulled, I would just like, lose control and open like most of the rest of the packs if there were lots left and I'd be like wait what am I doing but then I was like oh yeah I really love the V's and Maxes and want a bajillion of them so it's okay in the end I decided it was it was all right let's see can I see it that is 10 packs that's what it would be in a booster box, yes, but the Crobat box only has six. It doesn't really tell you much on the outside of the box, it's just like, Pokemon, random Japanese stuff, Crobat, shiny box, Japanese stuff, the letter V. Oh, I guess we actually have some more information on the bottom, <laughs> but it's in Japanese, but it does say the number six right there. It is kind of blurry though, it's too shiny. And it says Pokemon card game on the top, which is neat. And this side says the same thing as the other one. But yeah, it comes with six packs in it. And we opened one from the box we just opened. So we have five more. Yeah, it's pretty groovy. I like it. Plus it comes with some holofoil energies. They're all dark energies, but like, it's neat. It's really neat. I like it. I like it very much. Alright, don't see more orders yet. Back to contemplating what I should open for myself. <laughs> hmm. Decisions, decisions. Definitely something fire in there. I mean, it's Shiny Star V. Of course it does. There is no question. It always will. Alright, let's just open a pack of Ultra Sun. I like Ultra Sun. I'll open Magic later. Maybe I'll open that tomorrow with my siblings. Since now my my younger brother plays it, and my little sister is starting to collect so that she can learn how to play. She just doesn't have enough stuff for a deck yet. Now there's one to the front. Starting off with a Lickitung. Got Grottle, Diglett, Stun Tank, and Pokemon Fan Club. So not much from there. But it's okay, because now despite saying I wouldn't snip, oh I should update it too. I haven't sold any magic yet, but no complaints for me, I will gladly open all of this by myself. This is a set pack, so it will have spicy stuff. Ooh, we have a mimic art card, I like that. We got a mountain, land is very important, it's basically energy. Ooh, we have an alternate art. So yeah, this is an alt art. 
and magic what they look like. Lurking Roper. You find a cursed idol. I like how dramatic. Half elf monk. Null hunter. Portable hole. Sounds nice. Check for traps. Ooh, that looks cool. Great axe. Amazing weapon. Dire wolf prowler. Nadar, selfless paladin. So that one's rare. We have a druid class. I'm getting some serious, like, Soviet vibes. <laughs> we have the druid class. It's an uncommon holofoil. Then we have a dungeon. And this dude. Or I guess it's the Tomb of Annihilation. And then the Archball. He looks really nice, don't you think? So there's nothing incredibly spicy in that pack. But I do like the alt art, so I will give that one a sleeve. Could you do the five for a little discount? Um, let me crunch some numbers and see. I don't have a ton of wiggle room with Shiny Star V because I do pay a lot for it. It's kind of expensive. Hmm. So let's see, what would that normally be? 18 times 5 would be 90. I guess I could do them for 85 if you want to take all five of them. Yes, I think magic cards are so cool. Oh, I didn't ever show off the ones that I got for free today. Let me see. I'm not actually sure where they are now. I have confused myself successfully. Let's see, so would it be in this box or that one? Did I put it in some other weird place? It's completely possible I did. This is exactly the kind of thing I would do. Wait, what is this? Random sleeved card. Search the premises. Let's see. Oh, that's just the one I opened earlier tonight. The ones I was given! I do not know. Maybe I should wait for those certain fates. Yeah, the only problem with those is I really don't know when I will get more of them. It's just... is a mystery. Maybe it's in this box then, since I do not see it in this one. So I almost forgot to sleeve up my art card. Oh look, this one's one of the fancy ones that also doubles as a monster for Dungeons & Dragons. It's just super cool, in my opinion. Let's see. Is it potentially in here? Oh, yes. I think this is probably it. Or at least some of this is. Don't know about all of it, though. Let's see. Oh yeah, yes. These ones appear to be what I was looking for. Got the Eevee Heroes V Max Special Box from a giveaway. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Yeah, that's not even something I've been able to get. So like, that's really cool. What a solid giveaway. Like, seriously. And an exciting win. Alright, let me put this... I don't know where to put all my boxes. I have too many boxes to put places. Okay, let me take a quick moment and check orders before I show off my magic stuff. Yes, we do have orders. Yes. Well, one order. I'm saying a plural, but it's not plural. We got two Shiny Star V. 
for Chase. Grab two of those. This should certainly be spicy. I will move my magic out of the way. Eight packs and one pack with a V-Max in it. Honestly, that's so solid. Alright, let's tear into this. See what we've got. First is a lovely Zamazenta. We'll do our wand to the front. Starting off with a rose mirror foil. We've got Scariness, Mincino, Milsuri, there's an Ariados, Stadium, Rapidash, cute little Clefable, Appletom, hey, and a Zamazenta to match the code card at the start. I think that's perfect. Let me sleeve these up real quick. And then we'll open that second pack. Note for even more spiciness. There we go. And on to the second one. How about a shiny Charizard? The shiny Charizard that we pulled recently, I do believe that was from a Crobat box. So like... <laughs> Just saying, I'm a... I've been quite pleased with the Crobat boxes. Alright, we have a Mirrorful Incense. Oh, I forgot about this. It's another Zamazenta. If this ends with a Zamazenta again, I don't even know. Can you keep the rose? Uh, the mirror foil? I always put the mirror foils in the keep pile. I'm assuming that's what you meant. I didn't see any other roses. All right, there's an Eldegoss, Hatina, Yamask, Mr. Mime, Grappalot, Hazel Fishing Rod, Frozma, Decidueye, and a Dragapult. Thank goodness it wasn't another Zamazenta. Instead, it was a beautiful Dragon Pult. I will not choose favorites, but I mean, I have things for dogs and dragons, so just both amazing. Very amazing. Alright, let's get these all sleeved up. So much work to sleeve them up. Alright, there are all of those for you, including the mirror foils. So I'll go ahead and get those added into your box. So much spicy Japanese stuff. Japanese stuff is cool. I'm so glad I finally started to buy it after like so many months of resisting. Because now I'm just like, man, this stuff is nice. So there's three more? Could you do 50? Um, yeah, sure. You buy enough from me that it's like, you know, an occasional deal is... I'm fine with that. Oh. We want the shiny Max art. Yes, yes we do. We want it very much. Will I wait for the payment on that though? I'm opening another pack of this because... Why not? I love this set, so... <laughs> Let's just go for it. I'd love to pull like the Leafeon GX. That'd be pretty groovy. Really any of the GXs though, because they're all nice. Oh my goodness! I love those two. The Mo Rotom. Yanma. Salazzle. Lickitung. <laughs> Pokemon Fan Club. It's the same one. Alright. I see how it is, Ultra Sun. I see how it is. It's pretty normal it to be like that so so it's fine all right three more shiny star v let's go update so on the board just six remaining we got three beautiful packs let's go snip 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 let's see we got a lovely intellion there's one to the front. Starting off with a Hatina mirror foil. We got a Ducklet. More Peko. Silicobra. Cramorant. Team Yeltow. Swana. Kursla. Zamazenta. Ooh. And an Eternatus VMAX. I love that. Eternatus is just amazing. It's just a fact. This is the truth. 
And Tornatus is amazingness. Yes, this is facts. Right, no. no, go on the sleeve. Okay, it cooperated. <laughs> on to the next pack. Go snip, 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 snip. Bunny. There's the one to the front. We got a Mr. I mirror foil. Chrysala. There's a double Mr. Mine energy. Poltergeist. Rust Ship. Draco Beach. Heat Train. And it's Cramorant! Gotta love it. Cramorant is such a legend. Such an absolute legend. They still did tag teams. I would love to see a Cramorant Charizard tag team. Amazing. One day if I figure out how to paint two Pokemon on a single card, making it look super epic and everything fits, maybe I'll do a Charizard Cramorant tag team. Man, that would be like freaking legendary. Like, for reals. <laughs> There's one to the front. We have a Spinarak. There's a cute little Yamper. Clavipus. Slum. Ariados. Energy. There we go. We got a shiny. A beautiful Swana. Have a Hoopa. Toxtricity. And another Samsenta. So it wasn't the next pack. Instead it was the last pack that had another Samsenta. It's kind of funny, but also painful. Alright, well, I'm glad we did pull you a shiny, though. We needed that. Lovely texture. <laughs> At least I very much like texture. I'm a nerd for texture on Pokemon cards. Right. There we go. There is your stack. Last no Charizard. But I mean, we did get some cool stuff. Right, let's get that added in here. And now for a drink. Delicious. A flirt. I'm guessing the VMAX counted as like the main hit in the box. That's just my assumption. Like, I've only opened a few of these so far, so I'm by no means a professional on them. But I was told that each one has at least one big hit, so I'm gonna guess that means at least one, like, you know, VMAX, Full Art, Shiny, etc. But I don't know. I have not taken the time to personally experiment with the pull rates of Crobat boxes. I wish I could though. That would be great. Just like buy 50 of them. <laughs> Test the pull rates. Could be fascinating. Oh, I should show off my magic that was given to me now. Cause I got it for free. I love, I love it. I was so excited when he just like handed it to me and was like, you want that? I'm like, of course I do. He's like, he, he took the two that he wanted. He's like, this is, this is all I want. So we've got a lovely zombie. We have Monk of the Open Hand. Most of these are hollow foils. It's so cool. Delina Wildmate. Drider. Reaper's Talisman. Neverwinter Drive. His cool alt art. We got a forest. I don't even know what this dude is, but he's kind of creepy. Eye of Vecna. Cloth's Will. Oswald Fiddlebender. That's a really lovely alt art. That one's actually rare, so I should sleeve that up. What is this other one? It's just an uncommon. Trumpet Adventure Ch 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 Indomitable Knight. Rogue class. That's fancy. That's a rare. I should take all of the rares that are hollow foil and sleeve them. It would be a not bad idea. Yes. Okay. We got a dancing sword, another rare. I have a mountain land. Island. Oh, that's pretty cool. Celestial Unicorn Alt Art. Paul Foil. Rust Monster. 
Ooh, treasure. I don't know, but that just feels like a shit of sleep. We got clattering skeletons. Temple of the Dragon Queen. It's not rare, but that's going in a sleeve. 50 feet of rope. I like it. We got hired hexblade. Circle of the Moon Druid. Dragon's fire. I love dragons. Scan of Stygia? I don't know, but that's kind of fancy. Ooh, more treasure. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Also, I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be crimped right there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna stick that in a sleeve. We got the Reclusive Painter. Belt of Beholder. So many alt arts. Hunter's Mark. Ooh, a white dragon. Improvised Weaponry. Spare Dagger. Precipitous Drop. And Direwolf Prowler. This is all the stuff that I was given for free. It was from... Uh, I think it's the same kind of pack that comes in this box. This box only has one, but the one store I went to had, like, booster boxes of it. And the guy that works there was like, I'm going to open some of these. And then he just traded some other cards he had in for cash. To <laughs> get them. Alright, now to sleeve these up. Yes, gotta love air cards. So cool. This is the first air card of magic that I've seen. He's got that nice crimp. Plus it's an alt art, which makes it even more intriguing to have as an air card. Fascinating. Ooh, I just realized, on the back of the treasure, we also have a zombie! I forget that they have front and back sometimes, and so now we're treasure and zombie. Oh, and the Temple of the Dragon Queen. Yes. Can I be the Dragon Queen, please? Oh yeah, and the treasure also has Morden Canaan. That's kind of groovy. More double-sided cards. A very fascinating thing that magic has. Hey, welcome, Eddie. Nice to have you. See, is there any more of these? Nope. Most of the ones I'm sleeving up, at least, don't have double sides. But yes, this is why it's good to use uh, clear sleeves. You can see the front and the back of the magic cards. Because it just do be like that sometimes. I'll check all the rest of them for backs. I just got one more other rare alt art. There we go. Alright, so now we flip these around. Let's see, that's just some other thing. These are all regular backs. Looks like they're all going to be normal, besides, I mean, this one. That one's just because it's a token creature, which are different. So yeah, that was my free magic today. I was honestly so just like, oh my goodness, yes. Of course I want, of course I want these heckin' spicy cards that you don't want. So spicy. So yeah, these are the ones I figured were worthy of sleeving. They're quite fancy. The light glares on them a lot. And I'm gonna just stick them in here. Mystery packs uh, are Pokemon related. Mystery packs are entirely Pokemon. Since that's the main theme of the channel, I keep the uh, mystery packs consistent with that. This box is confusing me, so I'm just like messing around with the box. I'm like, what's going on here? I don't know. I'm being confused by a box, so I'm going to put it away. I might have to get it out later, though, if I decide to open more magic. There we go. Back up there. And also, the mystery packs do content, uh, generally consist of Pokemon cards, though you can occasionally get things like in store credit. Uh, battle figures, and uh, you get a chance to get a wheel spin on the Wheel of Prizes, and that includes stuff like um, graded cards, uh, other random cards, we got like a tops card, money off shipping, sellable battle figure, just lots of stuff like that. Alright, and we do have another order, so we got 
two. Two chilling rain for Venmo guy. Let's see, grab those. Uh, let's see. I will update the board first. Then we shall find out what is inside. Beautiful. I'm uh, stealing code cards again. Let's see, there's four to the front. Starting off with a darkness energy. We have Celio, Peonia, Fire Resistant Gloves, Clobopus, Weedle, Marie, Ralts, Cast Form, Sneasel Reverse, and a Sawsbuck. So there are those two. Let's hope that this pack will be better to you. Alright, there's that code card. Whoosh! Definitely missed the trash can there. Alas, tis what happens. Alright, we have a grass energy, whirlipede, crushing gloves, honey, squabbit, crabrawler, grookey, score bunny, Aaron, lay on reverse. Ooh, and we got a Galarian Slow King V. I love Slow King. Just amazing. What a legend. Beautiful. Alright, there are those for you. Congrats on a nice V pool. Add that to your pile. There we go. Hey, I appreciate the subscription. It's very much helpful. And it'd be great to see you come and vibe. We've got such a great community here. I just adore all the people that come and hang out during stream. Is good times. Alright, we don't have any more orders yet, so now I can uh, p uh, try make an effort to not open more magic or Pokemon. I'm not really tempted to open Yu Gi Oh! at the moment though. <laughs> I'm usually not, as I don't really have anybody that like I know in real life that's into Yu Gi Oh! Just a few of y'all online, but I don't know. I, uh, I want to focus more on opening magic right now than anything since I want to be able to learn how to assemble a deck and play, but it might be a little bit until I do. I mean, I got a lot of nice cards now, but the more cards, the more that I can do with the deck. I have many twins! <laughs> In a sense, yes. In, yeah. All right, I'm giving in. More magic for me. See what spiciness we've got in this pack. Oh, that's a lovely card. I pulled the regular version of this card earlier, but now I've got the art card version. Etten. Cool. Very groovy. All right, now we got my basic land card. It's a forest. Ooh, never winter dryad. So we got an alt art there. Circle of the Moon Druid. Plundering Barbarian. Silver Raven. That's snazzy. In ingenious Ingenious, excuse me. I was trying to say indigenous, but I'm like, there's no D Ingenious Smith. Rust Monster. Bag of Holding. Yes. Priest of Ancient Lore. Demo Gorgon's Clutches. Spooky. Ooh. <laughs> no, that right there is a mythical, which is the highest rarity, higher than rares. And it's a dragon! Mm, I love that. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I adore that. It's a dragon! Amazing. We got Delver's Torch and Wayfarer's Bobble. Does this one have a. Nope, it's just the one side. Oh my goodness. Icing Death Frost Tyrant. What a name. What a guy. What a legend. This is definitely my favorite magic card I have pulled so far. That is so cool. I really like that. I like that very much. It is legendary. Oh, I guess mythical, technically. No. But it's so cool. I'm gonna save up my art card. 
this is definitely the one I like most though. I also like how it's it's kind of like a flirt, you know? It's got the picture going all around. You can even see a little bit like under this. It's like not fully opaque. It's a $10 card, really? Well, I guess it's going in a top loader. <laughs> Look at the way ice versions are. You know, I don't remember ever seeing those when I watched my friend play Ark, but uh, either way, this is very cool. I love it. That's literally like my favorite card I've gotten so far. I am very happy that I chose that pack. They're like two next to each other and I was like, which one am I going to grab? And then I grabbed that one and I was not disappointed at all. Alright, looks like we got in order for Chase a mystery pack. We like those. We like those very much. Alright, we're starting off with a star, you. We have a slowpoke, Porygon. For our sleeve cards, we have a Terrakion. It's Japanese. I don't want Paco promo. I love this card so much. So much. So there are those. We'll get them added to your stack. And now I want another yummy drink. <laughs> you want, no you need, my <laughs> evolution stash. I'm sorry, but that's currently off limits. These very small will end at risk of, of disappearing. Let's see if my vintage guy, no he hasn't responded yet. I will have to wait and see if he has evolutions for me to buy. I don't know that he's had any recently, so there's a good chance that he won't have any. We can hope for the best. We will we will hope that he can get us evolutions, but really, it's definitely not guaranteed. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there are any more orders yet. I'll probably wrap up soon if we don't get... Uh, a little busier because I still got stuff to do tonight before I sleep. I think uh, doing my claymation will take at least an hour, possibly two. And then after that I'll probably eat something and then go to sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep as soon as possible at the same time. <laughs> I've got a lot planned for tomorrow so we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's not like I have to do my stop motion now, but like, the clay is so tempting. <laughs> I just look at it and I'm like, clay. I love clay. I really want to use the clay. I've got grand ideas. Grand ideas that I can just hope that I will be able to do. I mean, first I actually have to come up with the, you know, little critters which I plan to attempt to make Pokemon. It's got the nice yellow, so I might just do a Pikachu for one. Then we gotta find another Pokemon. Cause I think we have to have two like characters in it. But I don't know what colors. Like what these colors, what Pokemon they've matched. I mean let's let's look. We got all these colors. I mean we could probably do a score bunny, but I don't want to use a ton of the white, because I need it for eyes. <laughs> See no, it's not right. I'm gonna move it like this. This works better. Now we can see both at once. Ralts is so cute. Mareep! Sadly, it's the wrong colors for Mareep. Let's see. Who else might I like to do? It wouldn't be impossible to do. So many that just aren't quite right. Too many that are white. Because, like I said, I want to save that color for you for doing, like, eyes and things. Since most things have white around their eyes. I guess with Pokemon, it's, there's not a ton of white used in eyes, but... I have grand plans. How many Skylas in your deck that you don't need? I don't believe so, currently. I could check my... My stuff for... Whatever they're called, I suddenly can't remember. 
or mystery packs. There may be a Skyla, but there could also just be a Skyla and mystery packs, you know? Could maybe do Diglett. Is this really much of a brown, though? Oh no, that's gray. That's not even brown. <laughs> I was like, brown. I was wrong. It's gray. It's kind of sad that it's not brown. Well, does this other one go brown? I think so. Let me look at all the little color bags in it. We must see if there is brown model magic. Because nobody said that both of the figures had to be made out of the same kind. Alright, we've got blue. There's a teeny amount of yellow. We have red. A teeny amount of black. A teeny amount of white. And a teeny amount of green. The answer is no. I do not have brown. How sad. Sad. There is no brown. I mean, I could always try and mix stuff to make brown, but I don't know. I would rather not have to. Um, to be honest, usually for the full art trainers, I mix them in to larger packs. So it'd more likely be in a 50 or 100 if I do. Yeah, that's usually what I do. I mean, you can get full art trainers in 5-10s, 20s, but it's definitely more likely in the other ones. Especially if they're like cha commonly chased trainers. I like to put them in the larger ones to be extra spicy. Oh ho ho! All right. So, we got a $100 mystery pack, another one for Venmo guy, and then we got two vivid voltage for Chase. I'm gonna need to make some more hundreds and two hundreds. I really need to make the two hundreds, but I'll do both at some point. Maybe like, can I do that and not get vivid? Change it to a, over to a $20 mystery pack? Oh yeah, just whatever you want. All right, so, and this pack for Venno guy. Starting off with a Mewtwo. Got a beautiful Reshiram Amazing Rare. Oh, Mr. Orangaroo Secret Rare. A Dark Jolteon to go with, was it Flareon that we got you earlier? I think it was. There is a Dragapult V Shiny. Oh my goodness, look at the little Ivysaur. And to finish, oh, oh that's spicy. I love this one. We got the Golden Sogleo GX. Amazing. I hope you enjoyed all of those heckin' spicy cards. I mean, literally got two gold cards in here. Anguru and Sogaleo. And a shiny. And an amazing rare. And a dark Pokemon. And a vintage. And then just Mewtwo. Mewtwo is kind of sticking out a little bit, but... Let's see what set this is from. Oh, this is the base set one. I thought it was, like, from Jungle, but I was like, No, wait, this is a base set, Ivysaur. Alright, let me add those to your stack. I think I'm gonna have to rearrange the box once again to fit room for all the spiciness. Let's see. Perfect. Now this will fit into your stack very nicely and there's even extra room. Chase, you look a little, um, you, you look like you may have uh, thought that was cool. <laughs> I mean, like, really though, who wouldn't? I seriously have so much fun assembly though. It's like, let me tell you, it's good times. Venmo, what do you mean there's been an error? Oh, okay, it's fine now. <laughs> it was like error. Never mind, it's okay. Alright, so let's see. $20 pack time. Let's get some good stuff. Alright, we have a Cincino. And for our sleep cards, starting off with a Whale Lord. It's Dedenne! 
I love this card way too much. Ooh, and to finish it off, we have a secret rare, Kingdra. Let me get that Kingdra into a top loader. Pretty groovy. This one's actually the promo one from Sun and Moon. I mean, as it's a GX, of course it's from Sun and Moon, but, <laughs> you know. I really wish they'd bring back GX. I like it. It's not like VMV Max is bad, but, like, oh, GX is just... It's something else. Alright, I will get those added into your stack. There we go. And we shall refresh orders once again. Alright, I think that is all that we currently have. Some more vibing. Yes. You know, I wonder what a Kingdra VMAX would be like. You know, I'm kind of curious. Like, I don't know, but I feel like it'd be kind of cool. At least in my personal opinion, I think it could be cool. Well, I guess it's one of those things that could be cool, or it could be... Just like, what? Yes, the bigger the mystery pack, the more exciting it is gonna be. Sorry, I got distracted because on, uh, here, let me just, I got distracted looking at the small amount of stuff that F Fusion Arts has showing right now. Mew! I love it so freaking much. And Hoopa and Genesect. I want, I want Genesect VMAX, please. Please. Whoa, it's three in one. It's like a tag team, but not. Chili. Salon and Cress. That's great. Power tablets. <laughs> Alessa's Radiance. I'm pretty sure she's in Legendary Treasures. Also, Dreepy, Jack Loke, Dragapult. Yes, I love them. I love them so much. Alright, we'll go back to the regular view now. I'll finish uh, being overly excited. Alright, we'll chill for a little bit. Let's see, we've been going three hours, so I probably wrap up soon. I mean, it's not even 2 a.m., but considering I have like a two hour project ahead of me, <laughs> the sooner I get started on that, the better. I just don't want to end if anybody's still got some stuff they're wanting. So, yes, we'll go just a little bit longer. And I will just sit here and try to repress the urge to open more magic. Because, like, after a pull like this, it's like, what else could I get? Icing Death Frost Tyrant. So cool. Ah, oh, now after looking at it, I can't help it. We're opening another packet of magic. Because. I just dropped it. <laughs> because it's cool. And because I would like to learn to play it at some point. Oh, wow! That was a lovely noise! Oh, wow. It's a fancy art card. Hey, Shiny Fate's hiding. Nothing that's for sale right now. Alright, we got this guy. Let's see. Iron Golem! Oh my goodness, just like Minecraft! So we got that dude. There's my island lovely land card. Ooh! An alt art. I guess so many alt arts. Doesn't want to focus. It's like, you cannot see the goblin javelin here. I have a shortcut seeker. Can we see him? Yes, we can! Charm sleep. I believe this one's a pretty decent card. Soul knife spy. Pretty decent as in, like, good for gameplay. Not, like, valuable. At least I don't think. I don't know. I'm just going off what my brother said. <laughs> Alright, we got, uh, you see a pair of goblins. Intrepid Outlander, you happen upon a glade. <laughs> Leather armor. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that rare. Volo, guy to monsters. He seems like a lovely guy. Meteor Swarm. Oh, that's two rares in a row. I like that. Hey, look, speaking of the charm sleep, here's a olive oil. Oh, and this is just one of the boring things. Oh, wait, nope, the back is good. The back we have this hamster <laughs> I love it go for the eyes boo <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's actually lovely. I was so disappointed, but then I just turned it around. It is way better. I love it. It's amazing. Alright. Let's get this card into a sleeve. Let's go ahead and refresh. Right, no orders. I'll give it like three or four more minutes. Then we'll wrap up if there aren't more orders. I really like this one, it's cool. I like that this is one of those packs that has two rares in it. Because that does happen from time to time. With the, the set packs, you can get all kinds of weird mixtures of stuff. Including, I think, maybe up to like three rare cards? And you always get the art card too, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Sadly, didn't get anything like Icing Death Frost Tyrant. I just love it. It's so amazing. I'll have to show that to my brother tomorrow and be like, look what I've got. And then he'll be like, whoa. And I'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it'll be exciting. Oh, I better update that too. Yes, there we go. Good. Right, we shall refresh the altars. The more yet, we've got like three minutes. Don't mind that my counting is probably, you know, not the best. I think I skipped four, but you know, it's close enough to three now. I think it's fine. Or, you know, I can also just be bad at counting. As long as I can count the packs, I think we're good to go. Ooh, all right, we do have another order. Two full metal wall, hoping to summon the spicy. Spiciness, here we come. Two beautiful packs. Got a snip. Come on, let's get something groovy. Alright, we have an Alolan Doug Trio, Aaron, Zubat, Sanshu, and a Kartana Holofoil. Let me get that into a sleeve. There we go. And one more. Alright, let's get even more spiciness. Starting with a cute little Butterfree. We've got Caterpie, Drowsy, Ralu, and Green. So at least got you this Holofoy. Get that added to your stack. Now I'm going to take a moment to take a drink. It was very splendid. And let me refresh orders again. Right, looks like that is all currently. We'll give it another three minutes. <laughs> timer is back up and going. It is an invisible timer, but you know, it it's there. <laughs> I I assure you. It's it's there, even if it's a little bit inconsistent and unreliable occasionally, it is there. <laughs> Man, I still gotta decide what uh, other Pokemon I should do for my Flamation tonight. I'll look at some more of the cards that we've got. So now that I did lit. Slowpoke? I have pink. Oh, he's perfect. I can- I'll try Slowpoke. Slowpoke might be harder than Pikachu to make. I don't know, but at the same time it could be easier or like the same. I have the right color to make him, but I have no interest. <laughs> Squirtle! So cute. Hmm. Oh, so real. I do have a dark purple. And I have a regular red. I can mix brown- like black with it. Okay, so maybe Zoru, if Slowpoke doesn't work out. <laughs> Metapod. Beautiful Metapod. It's another Slowpoke. Could potentially do Golbat, actually, too. Golbat, uh, or any of the other ones that it's, like, you know. Rayquaza! Oh my goodness, that would be so epic. It would probably be kind of hard, but, I mean, if I could find a good, um, 
image online to look at while I made it. I could probably do it, but it might take longer than I'll feel like taking on it. At the same time, that would be really, that would be really legit. No, 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 let me, let me pull up a picture of where Claza. Let's see. I mean, I could probably figure out a way to simplify him enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really something. I mean, he's, basically I'll just make a snake, add some little skinny arms, add some random, like, fins, a lot of those, extra things on the tail, some little, like, color circles around him, it's a little, like, vest, then we'll add, like, some spikies coming off his face, and a little dot. You know, this actually wouldn't be impossible. Uh, some of that was the bulk we got from your packs. So it was just random stuff from the bulk box. Yeah, you know, I mean, I could do Rayquaza. It would be a lot of work, and I don't know how well it would, um, cooperate, I guess, using it for claymation, but, like, he's definitely pretty cool. This Squirtle. Yeah, I think all my colors are too dark, so Squirtle probably wouldn't quite work. What is this cute Rayquaza? Ah! He's so cute! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Precious, oh my goodness. Ah, ah. I can't even handle it. The babies. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this way too much now. Cute little baby quotes. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I want these. Rayquaza shoes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my goodness, more babies. I love it. I love the babies. Maybe I'll just do baby Quaza. So cute. Oh, I want baby Quaza. So much simpler than grown up Quaza. Also, just so cute. Little, little baby. This is this is what I want to do now. I want to do little, little baby Quaza. I could do Umbreon too. Gengar would be cool as well. Should have made the baby shy. Ah, I need to make more baby Pokemon. I need I need the baby Quaza. I need it. It is necessary in my life now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a baby, baby Quaza. <laughs> It'll be baby Quaza and Pikachu hanging out. Oh, ditto. That actually is a great idea. Thank you. I may just use that. Ditto would be a lot easier than some of the options, but still baby Quaza. I need a baby Quaza. My favorite is Baby Quaza. Ooh, there's also Chibi Quaza. <coughs> it's mostly the same stuff, but still so much cuteness. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at the baby Suicune. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I need to focus. We have an order. We've got four full metal wall. Let's, let's... Take a moment, let's take a break from the baby quasas and open some packs for chips. One, two, three, four. Is it eating an apple? Yeah, it looks like the baby quasa is like eating an apple, which is adorable. I approve. 
All right, we've got a beast bringer, war turtle, Spiro, Golbat. Ooh, we've got Celesteela GX. Solid. Ooh, what if I make it like a little interaction between Pikachu and Ditto, and Ditto is like pretending to be Pikachu? That would be super cute. But I still must incorporate Baby Quaza into it. All right, we've got Ultra Force, Carton Boy, Meltan, Squirtle, Hitmontop, and Paragly. Pack number three. The Rayquaza boat, isn't that lovely? This is delightful. Right, there's one to the front. We've got a Genesect, Laron, Zubat, Metapod, and a Golem, Holofoil. Let's get that to sleep. And for one more pack, let's get more spaciness. There's one to the front. Starting off with a Malayne, Firo, Hayakumu Muku, Tangela. <gasps> it's the frying pan! Oh my goodness, I adore this card. The metal frying pan. Such a legendary trainer. Freaking amazing. I am jealous of your frying pan. Best card all night. The frying pan. I love it. <laughs> Alright, let me add that to your stack. Ah, uh, just... The frying pan. So amazing. Yes, I have so many great ideas for my claymation now. And now my dreams are going to be full of baby quazas. Because I am now in love with baby quaza. I mean, look! Oh, this one's just precious. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's quaza taking care of the babies. So cute. I love it. Baby quaza, you are now my favorite. I love you. I should like make this my Discord profile picture for a while. I like to keep it professional and use the same one as my YouTube, but like, baby Quaza! Oh my goodness, I love it too much. All right, we're doing two more full metal wall. We're really getting down to it. All right, let's switch this. Let's open these. Alright, come on. We're here for the spicy. Starting off with this lab place. Aaron, Geodude, Slowpoke, and Sandslash. Alright, hoping for some spiciness in this pack. There's one to the front. Starting off with a Tangrowth, we have Spiro, Caterpie, War Turtle, and a Stack Attack a Hollow. Man, the, the big hit is gonna be in the last six packs. It's so close. Beautiful Stack Attack. <laughs> Definitely what everybody wants to pull. Stack Attack. -a. Delicious. Let me get the Tukapi clay card. Is that full of green and rainbow stories? For reals. For reals. No are them super spicy cards. We are ready for the spicy stuff. Alright, we don't have any more orders yet. So now I'm doing a search for Baby Rayquaza. Thank you uh, very much for your interest. Mm. He's just so cute! Oh, I just love the Baby Rayquaza! He's so precious. Oh my goodness. Yes, Rayquaza. This is definitely Rayquaza. Mm, babies. 
Oh my goodness. I love it. Baby Rickwaza. I absolutely love Baby Rickwaza. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just lovely. Alright. Let's flip back over here and we got three full medals this time. Alright, let's do it. Got one, two, three. We'll see what we can get for ya. Snip. This is the one to the front. Starting off with an Ultra Force Cartonvoy. Drowsy, Ralu, Slowpoke, Lone Dug Trio. Alright. Next pack. We have Butterfree, Ekans, Sandshrew, Melton. <gasps> we really did it! It's the green! Oh my goodness, that's amazing! What are the chances we'd actually get it? Oh my goodness, that's incredible. That's so incredible. Let me get that right into a top loader for ya. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. That's so amazing. All right, let's open this last one here real quick. Just so we can get back to, you know, admiring green, of course. We got the Beast Bringer, Zubat, Hitmontop, Firo, and Sandslash. But more importantly, green. Oh my goodness, such a clean card. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. So shiny. I love how you can see the texture in the back. Oh my goodness, that is phenomenal. I can't believe we actually pulled it. Oh, that's incredible. I bet that's uh, the, if not like the second most valuable card in the set. That's so cool. That's amazing, that's so amazing. Congrats on that phenomenal pull. That's so amazing. All right, let me let me get that added into your stack. Very nice addition. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Man, Japanese boxes are just so lovely. Cuz you kept pulling green on all trainer. It's like, there must be the full art! Man, that's fantastic. Alright, we can check it on TCG Player. Let's hop over here. And we can only see the English version, I think. But we can at least get an idea. Let's see. Gorgeous. Alright, look at maybe like 90. Recent sales. It's low as like 65. Kind of lower than I expected. Here, let's change the filters to only near mint. And it doesn't give us the option to look at anything in Japanese, just English. So it's from like a not super trusted place. You can get it almost 50. But more reliable is going to be like 60. But even then, that's like the only like really reliable one at 60 then it goes up to like 70 75 so yeah that gives you a little bit of an idea i mean either way it is a stunning card so cool like seriously that is such an epic pull yeah and japanese is definitely different but i don't know where to look up the japanese one like this is the, this is the best i've got I've, i can look up the english that's why my return is worth like 500. The most expensive um, full art trainer that I know is the Lizia. But that's just in English. I don't know the prices on the Japanese ones. I mean, I can check like eBay too. Look! 
can you do for me, eBay? Let's see. We won't. Who aren't Japanese greens exploration? Yes, thank you. Oh, apparently there's some other greens exploration that has a squirtle on it. But where is this one? Let's see. Please cooperate. Confusing me. Yes, I'd only like to see the near mint ones as well. Mm. See, so like, looks like 125 is one of the recent sales. Yeah, it looks like the most recent sale I think was 125 on eBay. So yeah, that's the uh, that's what I found on here. Oh, I didn't even switch. See, apparently this other green is exploration full art, but this is the one we just pulled. So yeah, probably around like 125 or something. All right, let me check orders. If we don't have any, I'll probably end in like two or three minutes. yummy soda then I'll probably upload my uh, claymation video on YouTube at some point it'll be pretty short we only have to make it 30 frames I might do it a little longer just to add a little more to it but either way I'm pretty excited about it I've got some ideas for it but I don't know how well all of them would work, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Either way, it's gonna have Pokemon, so it's gonna be cool. That is that is the most important of the details. It shall be cool. Let's see, I'll tidy up my desk a little bit. It's quite chaotic on this one half, and then this half is a lot more civilized, I guess you could say. Well, there have, there's like so many code cards sitting here waiting for me to, to use them because I haven't pulled up the online game in a few days. Just, you know, haven't had time. <laughs> or just was like not in the right mood, you know? Because sometimes you just aren't. Oh, also, I want to do another game stream sometime, but I haven't decided what game yet. Like, I could potentially start my Undertale one. Or, let's see, I also have Hollow Knight. That would be pretty groovy. A friend that's been waiting for me to play Hollow Knight for a long time. I'm sure they would be very excited if I told them I finally, I finally was gonna try it out. But uh, we'll see if that actually happens. Alright, let me check orders one last time. If there are none, we will wrap it up though. Alright, yeah. Looks like we're ready to finish up tonight. I should be streaming again tomorrow. I will see if I can get some more of the... Like, some, some more Sun and Moon era stuff potentially tomorrow. It might not be for a couple days though. But yeah, I'll be very busy tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll get what I can. I'll definitely keep my eyes up for evolutions and hidden fates for you, Chase. But yeah, I think that's all for tonight. Thank you guys for hanging up, and I will see you next time.